All right, all right, all right. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome. My name is Resorty, and to you, one and all, I say, hello, friends. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Hope things are good for you, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for taking a little bit of time to hang out with me right here. And that's Nobs' hand. I didn't see it was coming, and I thought for you. Nobs is good. Apparently, today's me miming day. Oh, oh that, that's offensive in some cultures. Offensive some culture. That that one might be okay. That that's offensive. Wait, is uh, it offensive? I, I don't it's know. I, I'm a ring ring ring. Who's there? Oh Noms, hello. You wanna come over for the stream? That'd be great. I'll see you in just a minute. Click. Oh, here she comes. Oh, you came right up to the uh to the apartment here. You didn't knock on your way. That's fine. Oh yeah, you're good. Uh, Noms are delightful. It's good seeing you for sure. Hello to you, Pepper Slivers. Welcome, my friend. Ellis Adult. Welcome, welcome. Jim, I'm glad to see that you have an equivalent amount of love for the game we're playing today as I do. Same with Quick Ben. That's amazing. Hello to Jerry Moore. Silent, how's it going, my friend? Cortraption, good morning to you and to yours. Or I guess good evening, most likely. Hello, everyone. How's it going today? Jonah, Jonah, you're up early. Good morning. Hello, HPG. Good to see you. Hello to Odd Blue Turnip. Hello to you, Yarlris, and Slivers, and Belly, and Leto, and Cat, and Sakutera, and, and, and everybody. How the heck's it going? What's that? Have I seen Monster? Have you seen Monster? I don't know what Monster is. I mean, there's a movie with uh, Charlize Theron named Monster. Do you mean that one? That's probably the question. I have not seen that one. Yeah, yeah. Um, do you know much about it? I know absolutely nothing of it. I, I think she won an Oscar for it. Well, that's pretty fancy. <laughs> anything more on that topic or are we moving on? I, I don't know anything about that movie. Say there's no, no, we've not seen yeah, it. Oh, very I, good, very good. Hello to Tank Possum, how's it going? Uh, Belly is now blaming me for your addiction to this game. Yeah, I know we have at least four or five people who are really, really enjoying this game a lot, and I understand it. Um, yesterday when Noms came home, uh, she's home kind of late yesterday, about 9.30 actually, so pretty late indeed. Uh, she said, hey Resorty, what'd you do today? And I mentioned uh, that I had <clears throat> done some work on the house, did some cleaning, did some grading, did some reading. I did not mention the approximately three hours of Backpack Battles I played off stream. <laughs> so <laughs> it was a good time though. We'll talk more about that later, but yeah, this game, if I'm not careful, will consume every minute of my life. So that is how things are going. Or not. Poor noms. It wasn't deception. It was just didn't come to mind. You didn't get to play three hours of Backpack Battles yesterday. You can you can play three hours back at Bell today if you want to, because uh, today is a holiday here. Yes. Yes, you are free so from. So it seems you are free from work today because uh, it is the vernal equinox. Happy equinox day, everybody! Uh, well, this is the point where the days start getting longer again. Is that correct? This is me asking you, Noms. I have no idea. I don't know. All right. I think this is the one where the days start getting longer day or something. Whichever way. Happy holiday, everybody. Happy day when Noms does not have to go to the office. And so how will you be spending your time? Writing emails. <laughs> is that all that's happening today? Not going to watch a Taylor Swift. It's just reading some emails. I, I, writing some emails. I, oh. I, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, poor Noms. Poor Noms. Oh. These are getting longer at the 21st of yeah, December. Yeah, that's oh, the... Okay. the the winter solstice. Okay, so then what is, what's the, the equinox do? It's the other part. Like, there's the two solstices, and then these are the equinoxes. 
I don't know. Uh, maybe the the time of day and night is of equal length, perhaps. I mean, I'm just deriving based on etymology. I have no idea. 12 hours light and dark. Thank you very much, Noms, for, for knowing the etymology. You got it exactly right. So mm. it's a fair trade, 12 and 12. There you go. And yes, it's yes. I know the day is the same length in terms of 24 hours. I mean the day light and the night light, that kind of thing. Hello, Volo. Hello, Waterboy. Real Commander's good seeing you. Hello, Snoot. You need some sock puppets? Absolutely. I need sock puppets to explain days and nights and so on. All very confusing. Uh, speaking of sock puppets, uh, Nam, you've been enjoying a show recently. What does that have to do with sock puppets? Um, yeah, sock puppets are often used with children. Uh, and this show is about children. Would you like to say a bit about it? It's called Abbott Elementary. It's quite funny. Yeah. It's a TV show about an elementary school and uh, in Philadelphia, I believe. Mm -hmm. And the uh, school is underfunded and people are trying to make do with it. Uh, they're older teachers, younger teachers, uh, brasher teachers, kinder teachers, and seeing the interactions of the principal. same. A principal. A principal as well. Yep, a janitor, all the rest. Mm -hmm. uh, seeing the interactions of these folks in kind of an office-like way. Definitely it was modeled on the office's uh, mockumentary style. Uh, been fun. And like, what makes me happy about it is it's the first show where you've consistently laughed, laughed at least once an episode. Yeah, you've had actual laughs, and that, that's so nice to see. Because I think often when you come from work and it's dinner time, you're a little stressed, and so it allows you to to have a smile, have a laugh, and, and feel better about your day, maybe. Yeah. 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 yeah that's how it goes. How well, it goes. At least I didn't uh, like accidentally turn off all the electricity in the building. That's what was it, what episode three. That was the plot of episode three. Yeah, you haven't done that yet. So, uh, you know, no. it's not your job to go mess around in the. Uh, Electrical cabinet. Good job, Noms. Yeah, I just tell my colleague to do that. I say, the bathroom smells bad. There's something wrong with the fans. Fix it. Wow. Noms is the lawgiver. And then he says, I'll look into that later. And you say, not later. Right now. Right this moment. No, I say, Ugh, okay, whatever. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, Cyber Oracle, Tuesday's New York Times crossword defeated you. But yesterday, Noms, you ready for this? For the first time ever, Cyber Oracle completed a Monday puzzle all on their own. Woo! That's awesome. Absolutely awesome. As I said many times before, many times before, the um, uh, ability to solve crosswords is just developed by playing lots of crosswords. That, that... That's true. Absolutely Unfortunately, true. that's true. Yeah, I mean, there, there are still a lot of things that are useful to figure out on your own. It's good to have a good, strong background and lots of knowledge, but there are certain, like, structural words that are used a lot. I know. I don't like that. I mean, good luck making a crossword without them. <laughs> yeah, I just think it's kind of like, it's like, here, memorize these clues and answers, and then... You ha that'll help you a tremendous amount. Yeah, I mean, I think I think that's right, but I think also it'd be asking, you know, impossibility to have a, a crossword with no garbage filler. Like, I think what's nice about the New York Times, the New Yorker, is they have less of it than other puzzles, mm -hmm. uh, but still, to put out crosswords that don't have any garbage yeah, filler what's is... what's wrong with Oreo? Yeah, the word Oreo. And, and Oleo. Oleo. Uh, the word Erg and Ort. These are good words. These are words I use every day, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah, it's how it goes, how it goes. Yeah. So, Kelly, it's good to see you. Hello, my friend. If I didn't say hello to anybody yet, I do offer my general greeting to you one and all. Maybe I should play today. Yeah, how That's about... That's not a bad idea. You got your Stardew Valley upstairs? Oh, no, not those kinds of games. Paper games. Paper games? You say paper games, like, what do you mean? there's this paper game. You like a have, board game? We have another paper game upstairs. Do you have board games that can be played solo? No. Oh. Do you, would you like me to, to end the stream right now with no, board games? No. 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 I might also try to crochet. Crocheting? That'd be, be cool. Because now that I have the humble bundle of crocheting, and I have a, a some crochet items that a friend left me. It's true. When she left the country. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I can do it. Yeah, I mean, I think you like learning new skills more than just writing work emails. Mm -hmm. So, uh, learning new skills would be great, and then you could show us proudly what you crocheted later in the day. Our friend and baby arrived safely in country to which they went. <laughs> uh, friend is friend is apparently going to look for jobs today. That fast. Yeah, they just yeah. arrived in a new country, and they're already looking for work. Wow. I, I, I'm gathering they do not want to live with parents. Yeah, understandably. I think uh, once one lived solo for a while, going back has got to be hard. Uh, and friend and baby are 
are people who I think strike me as being kind of independent. The, the friend more than the baby does, but um, you know, I think baby thinks baby is independent. Uh, ba- baby does not think. Baby just kind of coos and rolls around in circles on baby the floor. Baby does think. Baby I, I walks. Don't... Baby walks. Oh yeah, baby is walking. Oh. Baby is a is is got lots of energy and is kind of a terror. <laughs> Time is going by. R squared. Hello. It's quite a tie here. It's true. It's true, it's true. Uh, the, the issue is this shirt with the uh, red and then the stripes on it only works with about two ties I have because all my other ties are either patterned or too dark or too light, etc. So yellow all the way. That's it. Over here it becomes green screened out. In the middle it won't, I promise, because I'm here. But it's a fierce tie indeed, indeed. Uh, Noms, what are you crocheting? Oh, since I'm just starting, one of the books in Humble Bundle is is a bunch of different uh, dish cloths. And I thought that might be a good way to, to start my my skills. Yeah, so just basic dish cloth uh, out of just one color for now. Mm-hmm. That's great. And then when we use it and think about your, your early uh, learning, and then eventually you'll be using the uh, designs for making uh, women of the world finger puppets. That, that, they're not finger puppets. Oh, not puppets. They're just, they're just figures. Figures, you can hold them on a finger though, I bet. I don't think so. No. I don't think you can put your finger in them. I mean, you can have it balanced on top of your finger. That's good enough. Yeah, but women of the world, like fa- fancy women like uh, yeah. Curie and so on. I think that's pretty cool. Maybe one day I'll be able to make those. Got it. Got you it. need like five bazillion different types of yarn. I'm I sure. Oh. I mean, that said, you have a very good uh, student, a former friend of ours, that or current friend of ours, I guess, and student, uh, who is really into crocheting. I'm sure you'd give... Did you just call her a friend? Former friend of ours? I said former friend of ours. I meant former student yeah, of yours, current like, student of mine. Like, that's not very nice. Currently friend Jeez. of ours also. She's in the weird in-between student friend thing in that she's like really quite smart, really quite hardworking. Uh, she'll not be my student pretty soon. We'll probably have her for dinner and so on. Not eating her, but have her over for dinner instead. Yeah. Wait, over? Oh, I just remembered we promised some people we'd have them over for dinner and we haven't done anything about it. Well, we can definitely do that soon. Sorry, Nobs. Don't worry. Don't worry. All good. All good. Um, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hello, Jerry Fodor. Good seeing you. Anything with a finger puppet, if you have enough <laughs> drive and balance, just jam it on in there. <laughs> yeah, leave, leave one crochet loop. Is that the word for it? Hoop, whatever the word is, like, so you can jam your finger through it. Oh, one, one big hole would be good. But yeah, it's good. It's going to be good. Uh... Waifus, it's good seeing you. You had a good conversation today with a former coworker from your first job ever. Wow. Uh, I'm not in touch from anyone from my first job, I don't think. Uh, but I wonder me how either. wonder how different things are for them and for me, and if we'd enjoy bonding over the good old stories of staying after midnight on Christmas uh, Eve in order to put the store back together after the absolute chaos that was people shopping at last moment for a gift for their beloveds. Huh. It was awful. I just want to go home and sleep because Christmas. Well, you always want to just go home and sleep. <laughs> how I is this? Re- <laughs> restricted to Christmas. Oh, you. At that point, I was a young man. As a young man, I would enjoy going out to the steak and shake in the middle of the night. Oh, with, steak and shake. With, with friends and such. But yeah. but these days, I'm old now. And so going home and sleeping around 10 p.m. is, is good. It's good. Steak and shake has good um, patty melts. Those are good. Frisco melts. Really good. Shoestring fries. No good. Yeah. Um, do you want to go back to the U.S. just to visit the various um, chain restaurants that you miss? No. No? No, but remember that our dead colleague really liked Arby's, and he would tell me to have curly fries for him when I was in the States. Uh, when we get back to the States, we can have uh, curly fries in, in honor and memory of that friend. I'm totally cool with that. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, the fries are too skinny. They are too skinny. I agree. They're terrible. Yeah, I have. Why can't they have steak fries? Steak fries would be really good at Steak and Shake. It's called Steak and Shake. Steak I, fries. I think that um, you and I have very different opinions on fries. Well, for me, basically any French fry that's not burned is good. It's good. It's a receptacle for salt primarily. Um, but for you, you have like really strong feelings about what makes a good French fry and not. And so Sliver says you might have a 0 to 10 uh, French fry scale. Uh, what is the finest of all the French fries uh, produced on a mass scale? They're they're uh, just slightly crispy on the outside. They're fluffy on the inside and well salted. I don't like them too crispy. Mm. Too crispy is bad. 
Jim says tater tots are uber. Homeless. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tater tots, so good. All right, so all right. Good. I like the ones that look like uh, waffles. Well, uh, the... They're called waffle fries. <laughs> you can get them from Chick Fil A, purveyors of chicken and hatred. <laughs> I like the, the waffles. <laughs> Uh, I also do like the steak cut fries, like the large kind of kind of fat ones. It's fun. Uh, we could start a, a French fry restaurant here. Like, there's so many specialized restaurants here where they sell just like pumpkin things or, or strawberry things. It is Tokyo. You could. We could have a that. French fry restaurant. Um, Wouldn't you love that? You know the thing about about waffle fries at Chick Fil A is that also they have they have good sauces. Oh, terrible. <laughs> If you want Nam to feel bad about her decision to come to Japan, I think talk about American oh, no, fast no, food. No, no, that's not what's awful. I, I, I think Chick Fil A is like oh, I see homophobic. I, I think they may have shifted some of that funding because of the PR backlash. Okay. That said, I, I, I have no idea. So potato corner. In the Philippines. Oh, that sounds awesome. There's a place called Potato Corner. Oh, in the U.S., wasn't there a place called, like, uh, One Potato, Two Potato, or Hot Potato, or... Maybe. I wonder if it was just a baked potato bar. It maybe was a baked potato bar. That said, remember the good old days with Wendy's Salad Bar and baked potatoes and chili? Yes. Yeah, so good. So good. <laughs> I didn't think it was that good. Uh, I think we went to it a few times. Yeah, red potato, blue potato, one potato, two potato, uh, more potato, more potatoes, etc. This, this is like that Theodore Geisel book about fish. <laughs> yes it is <laughs> yes it is uh, what was I thinking about um, oh there's also um, crispy crowns I grew up on crispy crowns what Not, are, tater what? tots was a later arrival to my life that happened after I went to school oh are the crispy crowns like the flat ones or flatter yeah, yeah, more yeah, like yeah. a hash brown in some way yeah 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 why, when you visit, does it always become food talk? Like, this seems to be a, a regular love, pattern. I love talking. I have lots of opinions yeah. about food and 90s music. <laughs> you do have a lot of opinions on those topics, and frankly, everything else, but, Not yeah. Not everything else. There are lots of things I don't have opinions on. Just because you don't know about them yet, but it's okay. I like your opinions. They allow me not to have any. I say, oh, what do you think? Oh, sure, I agree. That's fun. I was watching one of those uh, videos of different generations doing X again. Yeah. And I was like, yep. It was uh, it was the it was a video about like how different generations react when someone at work quits. And uh, so I, I'm a millennial, yeah. allegedly, yeah. and so the way in which I deal with it is. Uh, Oh no, what did we do wrong not to retain them? We'll be poorer for their not being here. Oh, there was part of that. And then after that, you start crying about all the extra work you can't do. I, I would not do this. I, I do not cry about that kind of or, thing. Or whine. Yeah, so, so what do you as a uh, Gen Xer allegedly do? I think, I, I don't know. There, there was something about, like, the beginning part was, I, I don't remember. But then it was like, well... Okay, well, I would hate for you to have to do that work, so let let me do that extra work. I see. So you take the burden onto yourself. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, interesting. Uh, are, do you complain about it as it's more of a burden, or do you just knuckle down and say someone must do it and then someone shall be You complain about it to other people, but you you just like grumble about it to yourself, and then when somebody else is like, "Man, it must be hard doing all that extra work because so and so quit," but it's really good of you to to take it out. You're like, "Yeah." Mm. I don't know. I, like I see. I see. Uh, so the noms, um, my sense is that, that at least like, in this case, actually many other cases, it seems that your generational identity is a useful framework for you to think about the world. Like, I hear you talk about your Gen Xiness far more than I talk about my own. It may just be Gen Xers because we're such a small sliver. I see. I see. That maybe that for us it means something. Yeah, as a millennial, it means nothing to me. Like yeah. other than I can use the descriptor, but because you are bajillions. There are a lot of us. It's you're true. So we you're, are many. You are as many as the boomers. Please enjoy. Yeah, I don't know if that's true. I have no idea. Uh, hello, Gellizar. Yeah, I wanted to discuss Jolly Bees. I don't know what Jolly Bees is. We have an Apple Bees. I really, I really, why does Jonah know so much about fast food chains in Japan? Um, I, I want to go to Jolly Bees. I think it's a Philippine uh, fast food restaurant. There's, they have them in, in California. Do you want to see a picture of this place? We'll discuss it because I know oh, nothing sure, about it sure. at all. They, all right. Because their menu is different. 
Uh, J Japanese Applebee's be great. Absolutely. Also, there's Japanese Outback Steakhouse. Yeah, there is an Outback Steakhouse. Which is strange and strange. Hello, Fritz. We don't have a new Fritz picture. We had this one for about two weeks now. We got, we got to fix that at some point. Noms, I, I you have a job. Taking, I keep taking other fit photos. Uh, it's called Jolly Bee. Yeah, Jolly Bee. Two L's. Jolly Bee. Delivery and carry out online joy serve wow, daily. Joy. Serve. Joy, they say. Look at this happy little friend. So it's it's fried chicken. It's uh, mashed potatoes. It's French fries. Looks like a KFC in some measure. Go, go to Le Menu. Le Menu. Because their their menu is unusual. Let me uh, embig this thing if possible. Oh, Jolly Bee Canada. Uh, that's not the right button. Oh gosh, let's go to the menu, a like normal menu yeah, look. Just go to a me there's there's menu right there. Thank you, thank you. All right, all right, all right. So what would you like to see on the menu? I, I will embiggen it. Can you just scroll down? Oh, oh God. Man. <laughs> so you can't see this. You but, all disappeared. Uh, I've never had this happen before, oh. but I embiggen the window and it's now taking over all three oh. of my screens simultaneously. Oh, no. How has this happened? I can't see you guys. Oh gosh, it's horrible. Oh, oh no. There's a little bit of, oh, I saw a little corner. Oh, oh, oh gosh, this is horrible. Wait, what? Well, <laughs> what have you done? Uh, if we all tab out, oh. we are so zoomed in on everything. The Jolly Bees page is taking over everything. Uh, <laughs> Here, I will take a photo of this for later distribution because it's the worst thing that's ever happened while streaming. Uh, uh, and Okay, I might need to like, task manager alt F4 thing to uh, make this stop because the normal like escape's not doing it. Is it control W to close the tab? Yes, but now everything is huge. Uh, we'll make it small. Is there some button to make like? Why is this button still big? Yeah, I agree. Something's wrong. Something's weird. Right, I see you all now. Hello, hello everyone. Uh, all right, mask creeps you out. I agree. Oh, oh yeah, no, sweet spaghetti. That's part of it too. Can't see you. You're free. That's not true. Hey, Fozzy Orb. Thanks for the resubscription. Try F11. That did nothing. <laughs> hey, but look, you can now see that. I can see the task manager at least. You can do anything with that. Uh. Are, uh, are your windows all not on top of each other, but more like. <laughs> I have no idea what I've done. Uh, okay. When I zoom out small for you, I I don't I don't know how to undo this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what have I done? Uh, and, and somehow my. I actually don't know what you can see right now. You can probably see the... Uh... Oh, there's something down here that says magnifier. Oh, I opened a magnifier. Oh, no. I, I, okay, the magnifier is here. I see a magnifier box. So go down to 100 and see what happens. Oh, we found it. We found it. We found it. Okay. So no more magnification. Hello, friends. We're good to get. How did I open a magnifier? That was amazing. All right, F11 again. We're back in Normalville. Everything is fine. <laughs> <laughs> How do I get the magnifier? Anyone? It's control plus zero? Oh. Maybe you accidentally hit. Yeah, I went for control and plus, which zooms in just the local window. Yeah. But I must hit the zero accidentally also. Yeah. Thank you for helping me. That was the worst thing ever. All right, back to Bobbert's important topic of, of Jolly B. Ah, uh, here's your menu. I yeah. apologize. Now, now we just zoom TV in menu. the correct way. All right, everything is good again. Yeah, We're all right, fine. Can, can you just scroll down? We can see the, the many things they have there. Oh, uh, so they have chicken joy, uh, meal deals, family bucket meals, fried chicken, jolly spaghetti, and palabok fiesta. What on earth is that? Okay. I mean, it appears to be like a meat chili with cheese on top or maybe french fries. Uh, what happens when you click on it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a sweet style jolly, yeah, sweet style. Loaded with and savory ham, ground meat, and hot dogs. That seems that that seems vaguely like Japanese people would enjoy hot dogs. They put hot dogs in their spaghetti. So. I think that must be cheese. It must be pieces yeah, of cheese. Yeah, I think that's cheese. Uh, friends, an ad break is coming. We're going to talk through the ad break. Afterwards, we're getting to video games because I, I feel myself getting low on backpack battles. Need and more of that, clearly. Let's see what else is there. Chicken sandwiches, chicken tenders. Oh, taro-infused um, fried... Yeah, see? Uh, like apple pies. See? Burgers. Burger steaks. 
Is this just like a hamburger with mushroom, mushroom gravy, and rice? And that one comes with a mashed, mashed potatoes. potatoes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Ooh, you get a family stack. I get a sense of what this place is like. Now, why is this a big deal? Because uh, it's different, right? Look at peach mango pie. I, I don't know. I mean, I, I, awesome. I, I'm glad that you're excited about it, it, but... I think for me, it was like... It was like different from what you would get at a normal, normal American place. Um, like, scroll down. Do they have, like... Go down to sides, drinks, and desserts. Let's see what's in We can in do there. that. We can do that. See, oh, 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 yeah. What's ube? Ube pie. Ube pie. A pineapple quencher. Right? Oh, oh, peach mango pie. Look, th these are not things that you will find at McDonald's. These are not things you find in steak and a shake. Uh, ube is a kind of a yam. Um, yeah, yeah. Th that's true, but... Yeah, I don't know. I, I just, I'm not, I'm not feeling if it's like any more interesting than KFC, I think. I think for me, it's just, it's, it's just different. different. It's novelty. It's different. Noms loves novelty. All right. So this has not come to Japan, apparently. No, there's no Jollibee. No Jollibee here. So. No joy in Japan. What's the actual jolly f uh, factor here? Apparently they just said, um, that's their like what? slogan. One second. Um. Yeah, joy served daily. We go to the Wikipedia if you'd like and learn all about. Mm, jolly bee. Not confused with Filipino. Jubilee. It is Filipino. There are mm -hmm. 1,500 worldwide uh, in East Asia, but not in Japan. Maybe that hurts my name, Tony Tan Kakteong. Magnolia Ice Cream Parlor. Mm. Huh, delightful. Yeah. Uh, jolly bee was initially named Jollibee, which changed the name to Jolly Bee. I don't know if it's probably pronounced Jolly Bee and it yeah, was it confusing. Could be. Yeah. It could be. Uh, rapid growth. Here's what it makes. Uh, American-influenced fast food items and casual Filipino fare. Yeah, see? Uh, Sam's best seller of the Yum Burger. Ah. It's called Yum Burger. It must be good. The house hamburger first introduced in their early years of operation. The Chicken Joy, a fried chicken meal, and the Jolly Spaghetti, a sweet Filipino mm. spaghetti. Well, there you go. Mm. There you go. See? The Chicken Joy, the Yum Burger. It's not a uh, glorping out... All sorts of, of uh, condiments, what I'm used to with American-style burgers. It's like an absolute mess of stuff. I think it's also that they serve rice with with things. I find that that lovely. Uh, what, 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 look at this. Japan is pink. Lo planned locations! Is this the happiest moment in your entire life, Noms? That it, they're planned to come to Australia and to Japan? No. No, but, I mean, pl what does planned mean anyway? It means that Japan you... plans for like 20 years. <laughs> Japan plans to send a rocket into space, and then it explodes four seconds after launch. Wow. Wow. Okay, I mean, all true. But with that said, uh, the meaning you might get to taste Jolly, Bee, Jolly Bee in your life. Wouldn't that be great? I mean, I could just go to America and taste Jolly Bee there. Do you want to spend thousands of dollars to go to America for fast food? No, no, but I was just thinking if I'm there anyway but i'm just never i never am in a place that has jolly bee in america because i think it, it does tend to be on the west coast jolly bee's design is based on mickey mouse i can definitely see that with a little uh character here for sure yeah with that face. um beyond that look at all of these lady moo all these uh mascots that have been discontinued Aww. lady moo and chicky and miko and champ these days we have twirly and popo <laughs> and hetty as long as the Jolly Bee mascot. Oh, it's a it's a bee. It's a bee. Look at that. It's a, it's a, it's a bee, like a honey bee. <laughs> I missed that part. <laughs> I thought we were just making noises. Like bee is a fun sound, but it's actually a bee. That's delightful. Did you already know that? Yes. How did you know that? I could see its antennae very clearly. I thought those were like uh, expressive eyebrows. I have no idea. Uh, they have a TV show called Jolly Town. This is all a little bit much. This is all a little bit much. Anyway, Noms, have you learned about Jollibee? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. I thought we were having an ad break I coming. I wanted to read the second half of this sentence. This oh, please script. keep reading that. All, yeah. all loud, nice and loud and clear for the uh, oh, folks no. in the back. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, what? In 1995, Jollibee introduced the burger steak. Okay. At its international locations, Jollibee also offers... Offers... Offers, offers, localized products such as chili chicken in Vietnam and nasi lemak in Brunei. Jelly Bee serves Coca-Cola products, da, 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 da. What, what is nasi lemak? What is nasi lemak? Oh, <gasps> that looks tasty. Fragrant rice in coconut and pandan leaf. I love coconut. 
coconut. What is that? What, Which part? E what this? The thing on top? Yeah, um, is that this econ beans? I believe it's spicy squid. Oh, I see. Yeah, so this is spicy squid and chili paste. I've got right there. Boiled egg, obviously. Cucumber. Econ bilis. Is that what that... Okay. Let's see, let's see. Econ oh, bilis anchovies. is anchovies. So actually, these are probably the anchovies, and then this is the uh, spicy squid. Look at that. It comes wrapped in, in a... In a... Banana leaf? Yeah. That's great. Oh. Do you need to find this kind of restaurants uh, at once? I mean, I've heard very good things about Malay, Malay cuisine. This is translated as fat rice. Nasi lemak fat rice. Yeah, because it has coconut in it, doesn't it? It does, it does. I have a question, friends. I have an important question about Jolly Bee, which apparently is a bee. Can one get from Jolly Bee to philosophy? This is clearly the most important question. Nam, what do you think? Wait, you're trying to get from Jolly Bee to philosophy? So this is the best game on the entire internet. You go to any Wikipedia um, page. Okay. You then skip over any italicized or structural links, and you go to the very first link of the main body that's non-italicized and not IPA. Like Filipino? Like Filipino. And then you do this over and over and over again, and eventually you get to philosophy. Oh, yeah. You think so? Oh, right. yeah. Philipp like, you're getting to Philippines. <laughs> it's a whole country. Now, you can find it. Go to a university. Find the uni Click on the university. Oh, look no, 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 on the no, majors. No, no, no. It's not them that way. It's only by clicking the first real link over and over again. Okay. So, archipelagic country next. Okay. We'll see. Ooh. After that, we have island country. Oh, oh boy. Look at all the island countries. Japan. Japan is an island country. Good. Next up then is a country. Oh boy. I thought Nam's knew about this game. Next yeah. up is the world. Oh, the world purple. I have a sense that we've found our path home. The world is a planet. A planet is round. Round things are part of fluid mechanics. <laughs> fluid mechanics, it's physics. Oh, surely physics does not become philosophy. One's a science, the other's a humanities. I don't think so. Oh, it's a natural science. Delightful. Oh, a branch of science. Now, you can't go off of branches. That's like trees. Oh, the sciences generally. The sciences are systematic. Systematic things are empirical. Empirical things are propositional. Propositional things are philosophy of language, which is clearly a kind of analytic philosophy. That's not true. Uh, clearly a philosophy general. And friends, we've done it. We've accomplished the most important task of today's stream. <laughs> Hooray! Jolly Bees is a kind of philosophy. <laughs> now, did you really not know about that game? No. Really? Uh, it's great. We found a couple do, that do, do not work. I was going to say, do people write uh, Wikipedia pages or edit Wikipedia pages such that this is possible? So there's a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous um, war that was fought back in the early 2000s between the philosophers and the physicists oh. to try to get things to ground into physics before philosophy. And so you'll see oh. remnants of that like in this chain here. Um, there are mathematicians who try to get involved also, including one from our uh, from our channel, who anytime I get too excited about this game, uh, will begin changing things and then suggest them in channel, especially ones that lead into loops. Fernandez is a big fan oh. of loops instead oh. of a big fan of things that ground out elsewhere. Because oh. loops are heartbreaking. Because yeah. I get so excited. Yeah. And then road goes into road. Yeah. If you get on road, you're never getting back out again. Yeah. It's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> is this what you did in graduate school instead of writing your dissertation? <laughs> uh, in graduate school, I'd show my students this. Uh, occasionally, I'd play this game, and the students would not believe me when I'd tell them this story. And then I would ask them, give me any topic. And they would say, Beyonce. And I'd say, here we go, from Beyonce to philosophy. And they wouldn't believe me, and I'd play coy all the way through. And then suddenly, they would have their minds blown. And then we talk more frankly I about- I was gonna say, what's the, what is the pedagogical value of this game? Uh, look here, Dean person. It's a fun time. <laughs> That's what it is. No, more That's sincerely. That's what students are paying money for. To have a good time. time. They got little jokes and such. Yeah, I think honestly, the pedagogical value, we then talked about, well, why would that be? What's the relationship between Beyonce and philosophy? Like partially a ha 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 funny game, but we think then about the categorization of knowledge. And what philosophy tries to do is to give a description of generalized knowledge 
uh, generalized wisdom possibly, and that is a more and more general conception, which is how an encyclopedia is organized also. And so it leads into a conversation about human thought and generalization in particular. Gotcha. May I, may I keep my, my teaching credentials now? Yeah. Thank you much. Blue does, Mo it, does it work in the other languages? Blue Moon Empress, it's good seeing you. Thank you for the resubscription for 40 months all the way through. Fine. Uh, scale of 1 to 10, how much did I dislike reading Hegel? I didn't mind it that much. I had a very good teacher for it. And uh, yeah, yeah, huge fan, huge fan, huge fan of uh, of Hegelian thought, uh, especially post-Hegelian thinkers like uh, Robert Brandom. I do a lot of Brandom work. Uh, Brandom argues that anyone who wants to be a philosopher uh, must read and reject Plato, Spinoza, and Hegel. You must read, understand, reject. There you go. Uh, does it work in other languages, Noms asks. Uh, the problem is I can't read other languages. Yeah, but you can still do the first link, right? I guess so. All right, to the Nihongo. Well, okay, okay, go put. wait, wait, wait. Oh, there's still a fit philosophy page. We need a different yeah. word. Uh, let me move to a weird topic and then move into... Why don't you do uh, Rih Rihanna? Rihanna. We got Rihanna. There. Uh, we'll do uh, Riri here. How's her name spelled? Ri oh. Rihanna. Because we're not a philosopher. Absolutely, uh, Jerry Fodor. I'm not sure any of us actually are. All right. She's the right excellent Rihanna NH. Why? Right excellent is like a title of nobility. Is she is she knighted? <laughs> I think it's like that. Yeah, like a type, type in NH. And what is NH yeah. here? Uh, the Order of National Heroes Barbados. of Barbados. All right, so she probably got this for like bringing attention to the country yeah, yeah. and being a, an artist yeah, yeah, yeah. and so on. Okay, just like Elton John is knighted. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I actually believe that Elton John has substantial military training and will lead the British Army uh, against the French one of these days. Anyway, from Rihanna to philosophy, possibly. Uh, interestingly, um, the dates are included at the front here. I think we skip those. So we go to Barbados. Barbados. And that goes to country. And that goes to... That's the Caribbean. <laughs> that goes to Caribbean. And that goes to Meki... Uh, is that the N? Or is Mexico. That... Mexico. Mexico. Absolutely. And that goes to... Uh, the Gulf of Mexico. Gulf yeah. of Mexico. That goes to, not a link, not a link, America! America goes to whatever this is, South America possibly? Uh-oh. <gasps> We're uh -oh. in a loop! We're in a loop! We're in a loop! Darn you, Japan! Darn you! All right, for some reason, uh, America continent begins listing the continents. That's absolutely heartbreaking. Absolutely heartbreaking. All right, sounds good, sounds good, sounds good. Well, we had a fun time. Yeah. All right. Very good. Noms, any closing commentary before you go by? Are you really just walking away? We've had a very nice conversation this morning. <laughs> uh, did you want to say goodbye to people? Wouldn't that be a nice thing to do? All right, Bye. friends. Thanks for hanging out today with Noms. It was a fun little conversation. Uh, Noms, we appreciate you. People are saying goodbye to you. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Noms, you're awesome. I'll be done at 1230 today, okay? Bye. Nom says, it's nice that I'll close at 12.30 today. It's nice. What is also nice, my friends, is a little game called Backpack Battles. Surely the greatest game I've played in a very long time. It's not my normal strategy and so on, but it is absolutely wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So, as I said, yesterday on stream, we got one character to silver rank, and I decided off stream to get everyone else to silver. Uh, the Reaper is barely silver, uh, the Barbarian barely silver, Pyromancer are barely silver. So we have some silver characters, which means today I'd like to get at least one of these characters to gold level. Now at some point I will hit my max ability, right? At some point I will not be able to um, figure out how to play well enough. I don't know where my rightful ranking is though, so we'll try our best though and see how far we can go. I said this game is crunchy, what's that mean? So I think of crunchy games as ones with a lot of thinking, uh, and the thinking could go on a very, very long time. So there's some people who play each round of this game, and then before they go to the next battle, they reorganize their entire backpack every single time. So if you want to, you can like really bite into it and fight with it and sort your way uh, through all the very many choices and decisions and so on. You can also kind of go quicker, you know, just swallow the uh, the hard food. But I think of Crunchy Games as one where there's uh, consistent thinking possible. Um, 
Yeah, in a slow way. I think that's how I consider that. Not sure if that's true, though. So yesterday, I saw a Berserker build that I would like to try. I know we don't believe in forcing builds in this family, but it involves a weapon that I've never seen how to make. The weapon is called the Busted Sword. So we saw the giant base sword like this, a right? busted blade, like the buster blade from Final Fantasy, of course. It does so much damage, 50 to 60 damage on normal hit. If you stack that with crits and gemstones, it's possible to go directly through your opponent's armor and finish them off in one or two hits. It was absolutely ridiculous seeing it work. So I'd like to get this build going if possible. Do any of you know what the build is for it? Like the um, combined items? Because I know there is a lower tier version of the same, which is, um, it's called a sword maybe? Yes, it's this thing. The impractically large great sword then becomes the busted blade combined with something. So I'd like to figure that one out if possible. Um, if no one knows, I'll just look it up. We've hit that part of the playthrough where uh, there's too much hidden in this game for me to feel like I can sort things out myself. When you go into the recipes, it only shows you those things you've already unlocked. It shows you how to make them once you've made them. But the other ones, it does not show at all. And I want to know that one in particular. But we'll figure it out as we go. For now, though, let's do a new ranked game of the Berserker and see what's what. <gasps> Don't have to spoil it. I'm asking to be spoiled. I will go look it up if need be uh, on like the Backpack Battlespedia. If you know what it is, just tell me. I'll be glad to know. Thank you, thank you. So, round one, Goobert. Round one, Goobert and Sword is probably a way to go. Hello, Goobert. This is healing. This is Sword for activations. Um, I'm going to take the piggy bank also, I think, just for monies. Just for monies. It's the great sword plus the forging hammer. Oh, is that right, Tank Possum? You don't need a special item past the forging hammer. Amazing. So good to know. Uh, we could grab the rock to get one more health. No, it's not a start of battle. It has a cooldown. So nothing right now. Goobert run, here we go. We're going to need that. We need banana. So many things to need. <laughs> All right. Here comes round one. Do we get at least nine hits for the poison or five hits for the poison overwhelms us? The answer is absolutely we do. Hello, Scooby Dump. I was considering changing my username to Resorty TTV to indicate that I'm a streamer and people can come watch and hang out. Oh no! Oh no! We were winning, and then we weren't. So what happened there? So we had quite a bit of poison. The vampir that's remove vampirism. It was just poison. We didn't get it killed fast enough. G Cursed Goobert did not save us this day. So one loss, unfortunately. One loss. The blind. Oh, yeah, with blinds, you miss, miss, miss. That's right. So much miss, miss, missing. Okay, the whetstone, I actually want, like, that, I think, because I can't have it with Goobert, or Goobert will uh, only get one buff off the whetstone at start of battle. Uh, instead, having it here gives a little health bonus, and we also make at least one weapon stronger. That's good to know. Uh, past that, the giant axe I've never actually tried to build, um... It isn't a forge up. I think it's two axes together would give one the uh, the giant double axe. I don't think that works with Goobert terribly well. I know the upgraded sword goes into Goobert. That'd be cool. Uh, one thing you like about Vampire Survivors, once you found or saw ingredients combined, you can look up combines. Yeah, I understand this is meant to give the game replayability. Like, you look at the little uh, picture here and say, okay, well, this weapon is this sword plus some other big sword, so find this, combine this, learn more. Uh, probably this sword here. So here, a long sword and the, I don't know, falchion or something. Um, but it gives a tremendous advantage to those players who already know the recipes, perhaps by looking them up. I don't like that too terribly much, unfortunately. Um, we have six money still. 
We aren't having stamina problems yet, so I'm actually ignore banana for now. Hello. So yesterday, um, I had a... What was it? A Pyromancer? No, no, no. I had a... Um, a Reaper build that was so much poison and like five daggers. It was so silly how much damage we were doing on no stamina at all. So, grab our additional bag. I just want to save the bag. I'm going to grab the dagger for more damage. I'd like the pig also. Looks fine. You found most of them by playing, but there's some that are like mana, potion, plus dagger. Yeah, that spellblade thing. They have a goobert also. Now, their goobert actually can't get any more points. This is a weird placement on their side, because they got the 1, 2, 3, 4 on the start of battle, but they can't ever heal then. If the sword were here instead, yeah, that's a weird setup. I'm not sure why the, the fire bits are not inside of the... Um, the fire pit here. Now, <laughs> yesterday someone said in chat one of the funnier lines that you all have come up with recently, which was, do remember that half of the people you're playing against are children and half are drunk. <laughs> and ever since that, I've stopped complaining about people's builds. <laughs> so <laughs> I should probably make a, a quote out of that because it is so delightful. Uh, if we move our bags down, we can then put this bag here and put some items in place to help Goobert build even faster and additional piggy bank big fun i believe they're still learning like last week all right look here i won't have any of this like being a nice person we're talking about being a nice person no no this game is entirely about winners and losers and mocking the opposition clearly <laughs> no you're absolutely right i should be a nice guy nice guys are nice and you've been a nice guy, but it's a funny line. It's a funny line, I'll gotta say about that. Alright, a hunter against us. A hunter with the big money. They got a lot of stamina production, so they will not run out of stamina. We shouldn't either. They do have spikes, so we're harming ourselves, but just that one initial spike. So I think we win this one. What's that about me? I'm neither a child nor drunk. You don't know me. You don't know what I might be uh, just drinking inside my mug here. Coffee, he says. Having some coffee. All right. So, Whetstone allows us to upgrade our sword to the hero's sword instead. In this placement, the piggies are not doing anything for us. So, I want to move the piggies... Hit enter accidentally. I'm going to move the piggies in such a way that they get at least some bonuses to health. That's good. Um, we're fine on stamina still. We're consuming 0.7. We will be regenerating, we're regenerating one. So I don't need the banana yet. I, I think I'm going to save for the banana and start getting gems early, early, early here. So once this is upgraded, it goes inside of Goobert. We'll need some new item to activate Goobert consistently. The banana will work for that. And we need more Gooberts pretty soon, most likely. Uh, let's re-roll. Hello, gloves. We like gloves. We'll see how it goes. Faster gloves, always good. I think the way to combine the gloves and um, the hero sword, maybe? I'm not sure. What I am seeing is this person has a whole bunch of damage and their stamina is doing just fine. We just lose here. Goober, please! Goober, please! All right, unfortunate. So they've got gems before I did. That's okay, though. All right. Goober is about to become Steel Goober now, consuming one of our weapons. That's okay. Um, we need more items to make Goober work. The banana would be fine, I think. Additional room here. Banana could move into position to attack more often if I move these over here. So it can attack more often or procs more often because it's inside the bag now. We could also put the banana over here instead of the hammer. I uh, would do a blue. Now the chip sapphire gives what? 
Uh, if in a weapon, it's 20% chance to attack health directly, mana, uh, and inflict cold. We like that a lot. The spear, I like the spear, but yesterday I had such a hard time making the spear work effectively because uh, it needs open space to eat the um, to eat the armor. So we could just ignore the armor shred and use the spear in its very, very slow attack. Where would it go, though? Not sure. We'll buy the ruby also. At this point, we're trying to get any gems, start building up our gem pile. I'm going to ignore the spear, I think. And take the gloves. Getting dragon claws. Oh, dragon claws. We are building our dragon armor. I forgot that this guy's forge guy, so more dragon armor, more good. Uh, that slows down the banana. Except, sorry, the banana goes faster because the gloves are here. So the bag here does what? 10% faster, where gloves are 20% faster instead. Combining both would be amazing, but I don't think I have a way of doing that, do I? No. I'll try that. All right. A little more money. Hey, already upgrading our rubies, which will allow us to have um, additional lifesteal. Nice, 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 nice. And then there's another dagger. Or we can get a hammer temporarily, because the hammer can be used to break open the piggy banks. But it does take a lot of space to do that. So, I'm not sure. I'll see it for now. We'll see in a moment. Hello to you, Poison Bert. Uh, so it seems that maybe this rank inside the, uh, the Grand Tree of Ranked is partially who can build the most goobers the fastest. <laughs> because we're seeing a lot of goobertude. The spirit need to be on top of goob for damage scaling. Right, because in a moment here, goobert is going to start giving us additional um, weapons damage. We need activations and weapons both. Right, so yellow things are activations. The greens are where the weapons now go. We need more weapons, clearly. Ruby Egg for fire damage could be interesting. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I, I want lots of things, but I don't know what I should have. My right, first thing to deal with is getting weapons for Goobert, clearly. Oops. Okay, so weapon, weapon. He then needs activations. Wait, what's in here again? This is battle rage. I am side trigger faster. So banana in there could be very good. Uh, other activatable items would be very useful. Currently, we have only. Whoop, that actually did not work. We have only one currently going. So we five activations, weapons gain damage, and gain 16 armor also. But for the moment, you will go here. Our dagger happens more, more often. Oh, good call. I always forget I can rotate Goobert. Oh, always forget that. Thank you. Yeah, inside the uh, bag here is definitely better. Thanks for catching that for sure. Which means ideally we'd have this bag here with activations. All right. Um, and ignore the hammer. These will activate. Cheese! We love cheese! She's so good. There are lots of good items. The points of it's synergetic with our build. Look here with you, you and your fancy words about how to play this game. <laughs> uh, little berry. So these will both shoot faster, which gives beloved Goobert additional procs, which gives our weapons more strength for now. Another bag, super cool. Now, if I can find a place to put the banana, here will be amazing. So if I move this over one and go like this, the cheese has additional benefits. We'd like to put additional weapons here, but for the moment, we don't have those. 
if we move the duffel bag down one, we can then slide this here, which allows us to have our weapons have additional speed as well as the bonus to battle rage. This might cause us to go uh, negative on... This might cause us to go negative on um, stamina, or at least we have the banana going also. Sell the pigs. Uh, possibly, possibly, but I could just throw them back in again and in that way gain... Uh, in that way, gain additional um, monies. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, we want free, uh, want free gem here. Uh, can remove buffs or reduce healing or cleanse debuffs. I'm gonna stay with that setup. I'm just gonna take this. It might be a mistake, but we'll see how this goes. Uh, hello. Is someone throwing games to end up uh, back at, like, zero bronze? Does someone prefer playing at bronze level, possibly? <laughs> I was totally ready to lose here. Uh, the speed of our attacks is relatively slow, but... That is... That is not great. Uh, you let the axe, double axe, and the hammer. Okay. That, that's very cool to see. I see how they would work well uh, to, to help this gooby. Gooby Goobert. All right, we have two of these now, so we can level up our purples. Neat. We have a lot of bags that aren't doing terribly much. Um, we could get more gloves for more haste. We could get a second bag of riches. I think no on all that. The card's half price, so we'll grab that and then re-roll. Cheap armor. Cheap armor gives 45 and also can be leveled up. Yeah, cheap armor is the way to go here. The issue is finding a way to make the bags work. Uh. Uh. Okay, if I don't have this and don't have this, I get rid of my gems. Let's see. So put the pigs away again. Put both of you here. I'm not sure. Yeah, we'll have more weapons, don't worry. I'm just thinking about the possibilities of having um, armor also. I want everything. Give me everything. Give it to me now. <laughs> I will take the basic weapon for now just to have something going. Or a giant ripsaw blade instead. Stripping spikes and healing from the opponent. Or... Another card, we can be in reflecting debuffs, or reflecting, yeah, debuffs off us with a card. I want everything. <laughs> How do I get everything? <laughs> so I'm looking for axes and for um, the buster sword thing right now. Oh, we have a little red gem here. I'm gonna sell little red gem to buy other card. And the cards upgrade like so. I don't see a way to move items around to get the piggy inside. Yeah. That's okay. Items for the future. I'm not sure how much we can store things. Hello, luck person. Look, they have armor. Why can't I have armor? Oh gosh, they have a lot of armor. And we're missing a fair amount, too. We don't have a healing item other than the cheese here. I I'm missing healing Gooby. We haven't even gotten through their armor. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. So they're activating much, much faster than we are uh, on their, their weapons. So they're getting their armor up consistently. That is unfortunate. Well, that's fine. All right. What kind of person do I want to be when I grow up? I, I keep doing brass knuckles. Does banana not heal anymore? Oh, good call. Banana also heals. I'll just focus on the cheese. But cheese and banana both do heal, just not well enough. Uh, so Brack Knuckles gives a chance to stand, uh, stun rather, and more accuracy, more crit. I like these things very, very much. Like, 
always amazing, makes me very happy, etc. The other ones, nature items, if I want to go for the giant hammer thing, then blacksmith is the way to go. The game wants me to go pack leader for all the pets, all the fun. It requires such a precise laying out of the bags. I think we're going to try blacksmith again because I don't understand how to play it. So he crafted items around it. Gems count as... Yeah, gems count as crafted also. As does this thing. So right now we're strengthening... I don't know what. The forging hammer. Or the dagger. The dagger is 1 DPS. The hammer is 1 DPS also. The sword is 1.4 DPS. Alright, our garbage sword is the best we got. Another gooby I would like. More gooby, more good. We need bags, though. So we have a bag here that would be useful for having more activatables. For moving the banana into activation slot here. Okay. You will work like so. I guess. Uh, we have one... Higher level amethyst. The lower one. We have nothing to put in, so backpack is fine. I'm gonna save you. If we buy these boots, we can forge them. Also, to get more dragon skin. And now we have no money. So I haven't really used the the pigs all that much. I think selling one of them might make some sense. Or move this up here. At least we get more money. Sure. Oh no, it's me but better. A, a shovel warrior all the way. With three pieces of armor and battle rage lasts longer. So this might be a person who actually understands how to build. Where I have like my pile of nonsense here. Again with the armor. Just don't miss. Just don't miss and we'll win. Just don't miss. Just don't miss. <laughs> uh... I look at the opposition and I say, wow, that's a good and functional build there. And then I think to myself, somehow we win <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, also, also, I totally forgot to put the card in a good position based on uniques and legendaries and so on. Because um, you can reflect more debuffs, the better placement you have here. So I think this card would have been better. At least had the one bonus here. We can have up to four bonuses. We'll figure out that later. Anyway, a win somehow. Confidence ever increasing. All right, we got some dragon skin boots now. Also got ourselves a fire and a yellow topaz. Weapons attack faster. I think I prefer faster attack as opposed to 20% chance of uh, getting through their armor. Reward for having a clear idea what I'm doing? Absolutely. Just buying the best items as they appear to be to me. So things I would like. Obviously, another Gooby. Obviously, obviously. Um, so Goobies can proc Goobies. Okay, that gives two procs on healing. We're on the way to the rainbow. What's that called again? Rainbow Goober Death Slushy Man Squisher. So it's not just have four of any kind of goobies. Instead, you have to have four specific ones. Uh, is there a way to place things to get even more? Even more. Is cheese good? Cheese is good. Cheese is love. Cheese is life. She's currently proccing this Goobert. So these proc each other, which I love. Having bag here with more items for healer guy would be great. Having bags for armor, also great. Move my dragon skin down by the anvil, also great. Uh. Uh. Okay. Maybe sell the pigs. How dare you? <laughs> I'd probably sell the flame. Probably. Is 
flame is faster. Yeah, faster casting. I wouldn't mind more daggers. You're, you're not wrong about that. The only problem with it would need to go here, and then the banana would have to go like this. Okay, we're still getting at least one bonus on the card for right now. I'm gonna sell the flame. More damage, more good. We're still under consuming stamina. Uh, we can put the blue into here. Yeah. Uh, I give you my build such as it is. Things I would like to get a bag right here to be able to move the boots down for more crafting, more good. Uh, this person is Cryomancer. They're trying to freeze us all the way, really slowing us down. Again with their armor. Again with their armor. I uh, finally threw their armor. We're battle raging right now. Our battle rage is now over. We're starting big damage. Luckily, they're having stamina problems. So we survived through their um, tremendous damage dump and wound up um, not running out of stamina. So though we were slowly developing, by the power of Goobert, we win. Hooray! Um, they're getting a, a, a fire armor right now. A sun armor, I think it's called. It's going to be a big upgrade for them. All right, we're up to six wins. I think with six wins, we move up the chain at least a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Hello, fancy armor. Hello, pig. I think I need to roll for bags. Like, bags, clear where it's at. We can um, potentially upgrade that blue there for a higher chance of skipping armor. Or... Or we get a Falleth Ruby, uh, which is high life steal. Or healing application. Healing application would help with uh, Goobert's healing and the cheese and the banana. And then one bag also. So the one bag can go here. Healing bonus on the boots. Need a crafted gem, ideally. Or roll for another bag, possibly. The bears would be very nice for helping Goobert proc more often. We could align it with the uh, the banana, possibly. Uh, I like daggers. I like things that proc Gooberts. I don't know what I like. Right, so which gem do I care about the least right now? Of the upgraded gems. I'm going to steal the buff removal. I'm going to switch these daggers now. And that way we can upgrade the blues. Oh, if I move the piggy bank to here. This gives additional crafted item. So we have three crafted items now. Which uses less stamina on our sword then. I can't believe we still have this basic sword. Like, we clearly need some other weapon. <laughs> I could just go endless daggers, I suppose. Um, for no stamina, but... I think we're good. I think we're good. This is the character I wanted to be so badly. Like, the combination of daggers and luck. They're gonna get some crazy crits eventually here. So we are currently raging... Will we do enough damage before the rage comes out? We need one more for there for additional um, armor. So this Gooby heals, this Gooby armors. We're getting stunned over and over again. That accursed, accursed hammer. We lose. Oh, oh! <laughs> we definitely lose. <laughs> so the stuns on the hammer, very unfortunate. 65% chance. So the uh, pigs here give bonuses to the chance of the hammer stunning. They have a 30% uh, bonus on that. That is silly good. That's nice. That's, that's a nice build there. Cool, cool. All right. We have two more losses. What's this? Artifact Stone Heat can be thrown once per battle. Gain three heat. If you can get 10 heat, your weapons gain eight damage. So this stone plus the like repeatedly throw stone could be very, very cool. But we don't have that. We do have a spot, though, to potentially allow Goobert to fire more often. Oh, 
uh, we did upgrade the blue stone here. So better chance of ignore, or, uh, ignoring armor. This weapon attacks faster. I think I want to have life steal on it. Okay. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Looking for things that proc regularly. I may sell this armor. That I've not been able to get the armor into the build at all. It is four money I'm just sitting on. More cheese. More cheese plus banana. Uh, having additional stamina we do not need at all. But it is simply bag space. That bag space could potentially help me with getting the armor in somewhere. It's not really a useful shape. If I just find a normal bag here, I can put the armor there and get rid of the pig. Right. Pig returns? Pig does not return. A little more heat for faster growth. That flame wants one of the daggers. Uh, flame daggers, I believe, consume heat. And I don't think we have any heat generator right now. Dagger. Yeah, it consumes the heat to gain two damage. We don't have a way of producing stun, so... We don't want to come out that way. I mean, if we have to find some little vampire things, uh, the vampiric... Um, the vampiric gooby... Gives you life steal instead of heal, I believe. Like vampirism, I believe. Something like that. Yeah. All right. Let's have another win, please. Uh, this person's getting a giant axe thing. They're attacking very, very fast. And they do have a way of generating armor also. So with that very fast attacking, they are having stamina problems, but also procking their armor more often than I am by a fair amount. So thank goodness for their stamina problems. But the stuns the stuns. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah, that did not work out. We could try to move to the axe now. The axe would need to be... possibly like that. We just need bags. We just need bags. We finally got a bag. Goodness gracious. That did take a while. Right, more armor, more good. Giant axe, I don't know how to get you in there in a useful way. Unless I... Let's see here. This takes how much stamina? 0.8 per second. So it would be over-consuming stamina with the current build. We could get rid of the sword here. And the gloves. We're now still under-consuming. So more damage, more good. Um, another lifesteal ruby. There. Need spot for upgrades on that. The dagger here is not crafted. If we had a crafted dagger, it would be very, very nice. To um, give them their upgrade on the anvil. I'm selling my basic sword. Still just need bags. Still just need bags. Uh, Vampire Gooby, very cool. The so next round we buy that or the second axe, right? The two axes combined to make giant amazing axe. Sell the pigs. Fine, I'll sell the pigs. Five, the pigs are sold. Unfortunately, we don't have a way of um, getting to the nine right now. If I sell one more of these. Well, I guess I could sell... I'd have two spots side by side to get the blood amulets. But then is there a way to put the blood amulet next to one of the daggers? Feels bad selling these. But another crafted very good. Okay. 
gems in the armor. I needed the money to sell, unfortunately. So, can I get the gloves into a useful position? Oh, Blood Goobert, thank you. That's what I wanted to do. I apologize. Yes, Blood Goobert is needed. Here he goes. Um, so, the gloves have to go somewhere, ideally. Here would be good. Here would be better. So we could move this to here. We are dropping... Why did I do that? <laughs> Why did I do that? All right, one second. So I need a tax. So that needs to be here. I was thinking of being able to put the gloves in here also. But they had to go here or so. Never mind. So the gloves will wait for another day. You're getting one bonus here. You go to this location, you get one also. Let's see what happens. At least we have the axe now, so we should be doing more damage consistently. What do I see here? A cursed dagger. Every hit, get more debuffs. What's the weapon here? The Mana Thirst. Uh, so we're both firing along pretty nicely. Uh, she has more stamina problems than I do. She's burning my armor so fast, unfortunately. And we're leaving Battle Rage, so we lose. Unless, unless, we lose. <gasps> okay. <laughs> uh, what a shame. Game over! At least we gained three points in the silver. Uh, so the case there was I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, I was trying to simultaneously do like blacksmith fun and also goobert fun. And I don't think those two synergized super well. Um, I was not being able to accomplish what I wanted to. Now, had we gotten the vampire goobert earlier, that may have helped. But at least we got three points. That's what counts. All right. What comes next? Next is some pyromancer. We look to the future, not the past. At least with the Pyromancer, I understand more fully how it's played. Um, yeah. Yeah, I do. All right, let's try Pyromancer and see what happens. So, very cool getting a very first shop whetstone for a chance of upgrading the um, the sword and eventually being a burning sword. Armor Goobert may be underpowered. So, if I were being able to proc it more quickly, that would have been great. I just could not get to proc fast enough, and so it was sitting at like four activations for a long time. Uh, the banana is very weirdly shaped, incidentally. I mean, it's, it's fine what it is, but because of the banana shape, I'm having trouble getting everything around Goober the way I wanted to. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? And I'll take the coal also. Coal is love, coal is life. I want sword here, I do not want torch here. The coal goes here. It's been burning coal. Reroll. More fire, more good. That gives additional health. Uh, we have four money left. Backpack, awesome. Piggy, possibly awesome. Definitely fire, awesome. Have done a bird build as Charon? Um, I don't think so. Like, do you mean the little bird that's a, a triangle, like a, a two by two? If so, I've used that bird, but it hasn't counted for much. If we bird build like the Phoenix, I have done that also. And it seems just ridiculously strong. <laughs> uh, more bags very soon. Hello to you, luck person. Luck person has some healing. We have doubled our health though, though so we'll see how this goes. It's going pretty well, it's going pretty well. So we'll win on the fatigue game as night falls here. I think. I believe. We believe correctly. All right, one win. Go in the right direction. A second whetstone? Am I cheating? I might be cheating at this game. Like I try very hard to be a good enough standing streamer, but it's really the possibility that I'm a big old cheater. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, we don't need this bag yet. I'm going to save it for now. I like pig, I like rarity, can't buy both. I'll take the rarity increase. 
for next go round. And I'm gonna say we don't need the pig. I'll save money. What is the recipe to combine fire and skillet? Oh, is there one? Flaming dagger. What is this, Goobert? How dare you work against me, Goobert? So we have more starting health, but they have healing, and we have uh, not. So let's see if we can outheal the mighty Goobert. Now, luckily, it's charging fairly slowly now because they just got the flames here for one cast. Does not matter. Does not matter. Does not matter. What matters though is we now have Hero Sword becomes a Blazing Sword very soon. We're looking for two more whetstones to upgrade it to the larger version of the sword. Our Ember can go into that sword. We have our Cold Light on Fire. Hello. This time we're getting all the bags. And a dagger, too. Uh, so the bla Blazing Dagger will start consuming my heat. Um, but each step of the heat gives an additional um, damage. Hammer? I don't think Hammer. I don't think Hammer works well with fire and such. It might. The reason it might is it would speed up more and more with the fire creation. I'm not sure about Hammer. I think I'm not going Hammer this time. We'll see. Oh shoot, I didn't place the dagger correctly. I should place it with the fire so it could um, become a flaming dagger. This is a horrible username. This is an absolutely horrible username. <laughs> Uh, that was when I had to go very slow uh, to get the um, yeah to get to the poison building up in time. It just didn't. Uh, okay, if I place this here, it molten daggers. Cool. So whetstone, three whetstones already. What? 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 I put this here. Where this goes here allows us to have the whetstone on it also. Here is better though. Okay, so we have as much heat as possible and the whetstone like that strengthens both of the weapons. Uh hasty gloves, hasty gloves, hasty gloves. Wants to combine with the Walrus Tusk was really fast hacking claws. That stacks spikes, I believe. Let's see here, they're called uh, claws, I believe. Yes, these here. Claws of attack. Uh, attacks faster for spikes that are four hits gained in power, which increases weapon damage. I don't think we need that in this particular build. I want the bag, I will not buy it yet. Hello, Chili Pepper. Chili Pepper, yes. So Chili Pepper is gain additional heat and heal also. That and a speedy bag would be very, very cool. So we already know what we want to buy next turn, unfortunately. I might just throw the bag back. And we're going for the other armor, for the sun armor eventually. I feel like we are, I feel like we are doing pretty well as this one starts. Last time we tried Pyromancer, uh, we got stuck on just the basic wood sword. All uh, right, eating our way through their armor. Their armor is now gone, thank goodness. They have only one weapon and a bunch of stones. Their stones have all been thrown, so I have just the one hammer, unfortunately. Or fortunately for us, so pretty good, pretty good. Nice. A third win. Fantastic. More bags, more chili peppers. <laughs> <laughs> what is the meaning of this? <laughs> Last time I couldn't get a bag to save my life. This time, this time, this time. I've got 12 money. So 551, five, I think I'm going for. Chili pepper, chili pepper, additional fire. Neat. Uh, friends, it is time for our once an hour ad break. We're going to pause the game right there, do three minutes of crossword time. After the ads are done, we'll come back, we'll hang out, and we'll continue our possibly winning ways on the Pyromancer. Thanks for being here. I hope you're having a good time. It's a holiday here in Japan, and uh, I'm enjoying spending part of my holiday with you. 
And then tomorrow, of course, no teaching either. So we get another long stream tomorrow. It'll be very, very good. All right, welcome to the Tuesday puzzle. We finished yesterday's Monday. We'll see how Tuesday go. Goes rather holding everyone up, maybe. Holding everyone up could be, of course, delaying someone. It could also be, you know, uh, like a, a cheerleading routine where you pick people up. So being like the base of a pyramid, possibly, and cheerleading. Not sure. Uh, they might be self-ringing. Self-ringing. Are there like, uh, self-ringing? So you can wring your hands. Uh, you can wring out a towel or a washcloth. I think there might be some kinds of like dryers that self-ring. I'm not quite sure there. Casino request. Uh, double down. Hit me. I'm going to try that one. We'll see if it's right. Uh, working by dawn light say. Uh, it could be up early or uh, being the early bird. Work by dawn light. So it could be not using an overhead light, sitting in the darkness, unsure. Flu symptoms. Um, so coughs, fevers, rashes possibly. What's the down here? Uh, tops with neck ties, a halter. Uh, so halter tops have ties that go around the neck to hold up the outfit. A uh, temporary sculptor medium is ice. I have nothing more to say. That's all, possibly. That's everything. That's aches are a kind of food symptom. God. One feeding the kitty. So a kitty is a word for like a combined collection of money, like the kitty to buy coffee at work, for instance. Um, it could also be like a pet sitter, if you're someone visiting uh, when you're on vacation. Isn't straight up, leans. It's too good. Uh, I cannot believe it. It seems like a plausible ending. Can't believe it, not fitting. Unbelieve it, not sure. Uh, Time of Confucianism, Dao, clearly. ASO is probably Spanish. Petro -can uh, Canada Alternative. SO, Standard Oil up in Canada. A source of bubbles. I don't know. Breathing out. Soap. Um, champagne. A serial host, Sarah. So I've listened to a lot of serial. It's a serialization about murder. One of those murder podcasts that helps someone to either get a new trial or to free someone from their first season. Um, I'll get it once we see more letters. For right now, though, not sure. Uh, Leslie's boss on Parks and Recs. Uh, is Ron her boss? I think Ron might be the head of the Parks and Rec department. Uh, aromatic flowers of Chinese origin. Aromatic flowers of Chinese origin. I have no idea. No idea. Uh, Wendy's side. So Wendy's is a restaurant. I'm sure noms would know them all. Uh, you have a side salad. You have a side potato. You have chili. You put chili in, though RL is an ending feels very, very bad. Um, salad. RA feels better. We'll see. Better start paying attention. I don't know. Like, don't miss this. Unsure. What's the mena here? A sampling of the exotic life. Sampling of the exotic life. So it could be um, like a retreat, possibly a vacation, a um, exotic life could be a collection of animals. So a zoo, possibly. Unsure, unsure. Um, Amsterdam author McEwen. Not sure. Complaints after hiking, maybe. The view is terrible. My feet hurt. I'm tired. <laughs> uh, live action Mulan star Ife. No idea. What crab sticks are made of? They're made of, of white fish, I believe, which is imitation crab. A specter who is assistant counsel to the Warren Commission. Um, Arlen Specter, I believe. I'm not sure that's right. Person detainer FDR's executive order 966, for example. Are those Asian Americans? Are those Japanese people? I'm not sure. Whichever way. We pause the game there, come back to an hour. More backpacking, more good. <sighs> I'm going to save one of these two bags. Gotta believe, gotta believe. Uh, spear, luck. They're hoping for crits. 
Ana something. I can't remember which direction that katakana is. Excellent. They did not get their crits. Okay. So the flute randomly gain 14 armor or 2 stamina every 5 seconds. Triggers items faster for every starred item. So you can face this thing towards your items and things trigger faster. Um, while it would be very cool, it requires to have potentially one more book. Sorry, I was saying a book, I mean bag. Hmm. How much money? Six money. I think no. Maybe eventually. So we only have plain bag so far. Animu? Hey, thank you, Jonah. Thank you, Jonah. I appreciate that. My ability to read Katakana's question my best. He has stamina bag. We don't need that. Might get it eventually, though. Uh, so more lumps of coal for more fiery coals. Blueberries would gain us mana. There is some specialization item that, gives, that consumes mana. I don't recall what it is, though. So more heat, more heat, more heat for faster tri triggering. Uh, this person got a lot of stamina going, put out some big damage. They only have the two weapons, so I think we do win this. Um, this is going to be a build that might get kind of silly once they have some serious stamina coming in. Yeah, we win this. Good. Pyre much so good. Oh my goodness, a phoenix this early? Oh. I said I wasn't going to do a resurrection play. I say a lot of things. I say so many things. <laughs> it's only six money. Do it, do it, do it. I know it's on sale. All right, Phoenix. I'll throw word to jam you in eventually. Embrace the Phoenix? I suppose I can. I suppose, I suppose. I forgot that the coal can light on uh, the sword also. <laughs> it's on sale, it's basically destiny. I mean, you're not wrong. What's the Phoenix do exactly? Um, on attack, you lose 10 health. It does a lot of damage, though. When you die, you use all of your heat to get health back and reincarnate. So we need something that produces heat consistently. Um, the Burning Sword does... Oh, you know what? A Lucky Pig would not be the worst thing for the Burning Sword to help it uh, proc heat more often. But... And the Flute would be good for speeding that up also. Does it just stay in my inventory for right now? If not, it's getting rid of chilies. Uh. Uh. So we could move a weapon out of the middle there. We don't need the whetstone right now. So less heat production, but we have quite a bit of damage being put out now for free stamina, or on free stamina. It is a fire item, so it gives more starting health also. Yeah. So one more reroll, though, see what we get. Another whetstone! And a lucky bag of fast activation. Absolutely. Alright, so next turn, we've got a second whetstone, and we upgrade our sword again. That's been pretty cool. Uh, faster triggering for probably chili peppers. All right, let's see how it goes. I will not do double resurrection, just single. Uh, so we take 10 damage when it attacks. They take um, 9.5. There we go. They're trying to make a, a poison goobert, but 
They went pretty well. All right, it's time to choose what we want to be when we grow up. I will not take Ashbringer to have more reincarnation. I will take Firebender. So we need a way to produce mana, to produce heat. That heat production will give us bonuses, but also give us uh, higher resurrection points. Go Cryo. I've never gone Cryo. I've never, ever gone Cryo. So it slows down enemies for every five heat you gain. For each cold of your opponent, the item that's selected has additional critical damage. You start getting ice items. I'm going to go Firebender because he's half off, so I have a lot more cash for it. He's absolutely adorable. Okay. Cool. So, in the short term, we want to upgrade our sword. Clearly. The Firebender... I need more space for. If he goes there, it's not maximum heat, but it's pretty good. It was like Calcifer from Howl's Moving Castle. I've only seen Howl's Moving Castle once. I don't remember any of the ins and outs of it, unfortunately. Right, so like I said, I want the fanny pack for firing off chilies for more heat production. Three roll. I need mana to help from the fire gain more heat. Mana orb produces mana when items touching it do their thing. Okay, that's better than nothing. It's very, very slow generation of mana. But I don't think I see a better position. Let me keep... Wait, this is better. That's two then. And at least the dagger still goes. A spare molten coal, uh, coal, uh, coal that I'm not using. That's okay. I believe the burning sword is going to get one more um, width. And I believe it gets one more slot then also. So we'll keep our coal, of course. Okay, 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 okay. We could make a torch out of our wooden sword. Um, and that would be more stamina consumption. It would cause a fire item also to go around our friendly fire here. I do want the friendly fire like this, so that he is only one item inside the fire pit. I'll save that and we'll see. I have a whole bunch of fire. I'm going to sell some of it to get additional rolls. I want everything. Give me everything. I also didn't put my uh, card back in for additional uh, rarity. These all seem interesting. Okay, here comes the battle. Haha! -ha! It's me with the Goobert. So they don't have a resurrection. Um, they actually seem not to have any of the special items. They won anyway. Wait, 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 wait. They don't have a special item, do they? No specialization, just lots of damage going out. That chili goobert gives a good healing. So they put out a bunch of front load damage and produce way more heat than I did. The chili goobert. So every five item activations, the swords are the main drivers there. Heal for 10, gain 2 heat. We heal for 5 or 4.17 seconds on these. Hmm, interesting. Uh, Kelsper from Howl's Moving Castle is voiced by Billy Crystal. I love Billy Crystal. Absolutely love Billy Crystal. Um, this is flame armor. Um, what was I going to say about Billy Crystal? Ah, I was going to say, uh, first of all, Miracle Max in Princess Bride is his best role ever, number one. Number two, apparently the... Um, how do you live? The you know, um, Miyazaki film is coming out in Japan again. This time with English dub. I was hoping for English subtitles first, but English subtitle is not coming out anytime soon, unfortunately. Okay, so I'd like to buy actually all of these items. <laughs> I'd like every single one. We do see we now have the Burning Blade. So the Burning Blade 
when it hits, gains a fire. When it hits, any weapon it touches gains more damage. When it hits, you know, four times. So... I think... That's the best we can do right now, because we have those two weapons. Eight money currently. Upgraded card. Oh, our sword has two openings now for more chance of getting more heat. I don't see this chili pepper getting into the build. We have a spot from our sword here. We become a torch if it has fire next to it. It also gets a bonus from the sword here. We're over consuming stamina slightly, and we have no banana to get us additional um, stamina. So we might go out of stamina on this build right now. If I move this like so, we lose one starting heat. Wait, how do I make a torch? <laughs> oh, torch is basic coal first. It's not fiery coal, it's basic coal I need to have. If we buy the dagger, more molten dagger, more good, but I have no place to put it right now. One, two, three, buy this. We shouldn't have much stamina problem now. It's closer. Um, I sold everything else I could put in here, unfortunately. So that's what we got right now. After the mana, so after the cards come together, we can move the mana orb over one for more activation. No, no, not more activation. Move above three by three. Move above three by three. Oh, like so for additional mana activation. Good call, thank you. Makes a lot of sense there. A delightful improvement. I'm looking for a coal. There's only going to be one mana proc, unfortunately. Uh, what do you have? Lots of food, lots of poison. I have no way of stripping uh, poison, unfortunately. We got to kill fairly fast here. We did, thank goodness. Yeah, the poison was stacking pretty aggressively. Um, she didn't yet run out of stamina. She would have at some points. She's making a stone skin potion for even more armor possibilities. Um, what's she getting armor from? Because the Stone Skin Potion only fires when you have fortified armor. I don't think anything here generates armor, does it? So she must be looking for a um, one of the lovely armors. Ah, we got some things. We got some things out of some things. If we just save our money, we can buy the Holy Armor next turn. Uh, we're looking for unique, legendary, and godly items. The Friendly Fire is unique. The Phoenix is legendary. The Big Sword here is legendary also. So is there a place where I can get both of those together? Um, no, unfortunately it's hitting the spot where the, <laughs> the Phoenix isn't in the middle. There gives me three. We lose a little bit of starting HP. That's all the fire pit gives, right? You get more flames. You gain five HP for each fire I'm inside. To reflect six debuffs instead of getting five more HP. I think that's sensible.
Um, in case fights run long, blood amulet would be lovely, just to get additional um, healing with every attack. But I'd combine that with a dagger, probably. I think we're just saving for the armor next turn and hopefully bags. I've not bought anything. That is correct. That is correct indeed. Uh, luck and the moon armor. I've never made moon armor. The whole bunch of armor, every magic item it touches gives additional armor too. Uh, we have run out of stamina now. Luckily the phoenix keeps attacking despite the stamina problem. So eight wins on one loss now. Look at Tim! Hello, Tim! So Tim has a chance of stealing buffs or resisting debuffs, or when they're low on health, heal for 50, gain 5 in power for more weapon damage. If it just sits in the backpack. I said I was going to buy the armor. Hello, Tim. Good seeing you. Now, Tim going there gives that heal for 50 and 5 in power. Also counts as another mana activation. Seems good. Yeah, all of the buffs Tim give are really, really good. Um, but actually, I'm wearing no armor, so I can't put him into an armor, unfortunately. Sell the flame, get the armor. I mean, I can get it, just have it sit there, <laughs> right? And then hope we get more backpacks. So I, I think I, I will do that. I mean, don't tell me what to do, obviously, but I think we can, we can do that for right now. All right. Come along, Tim. Oh, God. All right, this is the double resurrection. She starts with 100 health less. Uh, that's her first uh, first resurrection. Second resurrection. That's our first resurrection. I believe we lose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was close. It was close. It was close. <sighs> yeah, she has the two dark items. And dark items give what again? Um, deal more damage. So with the reincarnation, she's dealing uh, seven times three plus six by two. So quite a bit of damage coming out and two resurrections and so much fire. So that's fun. That's fun. I need bags. I need bags. Bags will help us. Hello, bags. Good seeing you. Uh, this bag cannot help us get the armor in right now, but it can help us move Buddy up one more, which is actually not useful. Instead, put more fire things above Buddy. Remember the bags in the beginning? How dare you speak of the past? <laughs> How dare you speak of the past? It does not exist anymore. It is nothing to me. Okay, so you have a chili go back here to speed up production of heat. Tim can go here. Tim's only a one-time proc, and it procs kind of late. This is a one-time proc that will... Yeah, this is a one-time proc that will um, at least get one chance of mana launching. Uh, things I would like. I sure would like whetstones. <laughs> or a coal. I would be cool, cool, cool. Um, ways of producing additional heat would be great also. Because we get some big buffs once we get to 20 and 40 heat, especially 40 heat with that giant regeneration would be such a nice thing I don't see this ever hitting 80 um, heat the 100 damage dealt all at once is amazing so I'd like to get additional heat producers um, the molten dagger here is eating heat, I'm not sure how much is eating though we're going to keep an eye on that and see how high we climb on friendly fire buffs other than that, <sighs> the game is mocking me. How about some more bags? How about some more bags? What you say? I uh, asked for a bag, the tiniest bag ever. How does tiny bag help us? Um, why is the customer card here? Because picking up two unique slash godlies, if it goes. Here picks up none. I think that is correct. Actually, three, I apologize. 
So we will buy this one bag. Move this closer and closer to possibly armor. If we get one more spot here, then we'd have a place to put the armor in. But eventually the armor has to be touching fire things to become the glorious holy armor fire thing. <laughs> so that's the goal, is more bags, more bags. Okay, there is a bag here. And this is interesting also. Some more critical hits just for gaining fire. Cap. This time we're going to keep a close eye on how much heat we're producing and are we getting anywhere near to 40. This person's the most dragon skill ever. I'm glad that dragon skill does not especially give um, Divings of Fire. All right, 24. It's all getting burned off with resurrection there. So we did not get anywhere near to 40. A kill, which is cool. But... The friendly fire and the phoenix are pulling in opposite directions. The phoenix wants to consume as much fire as possible uh, to get the big resurrection, where the friendly fire wants to continue stacking more and more and more heat. I don't think these synergize super well, actually factually. So it might be worth getting rid of one or the other. Um, possibly the phoenix it takes up a lot of space. So once we get the sun armor, I might get rid of the, the phoenix. Is that heretical to say? That may be heretical to say. If I get rid of the phoenix, will you all yell at me? It is heretical. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> of the many things I want to be, a heretic is not one. Uh, at least we have some armor that will soon become fire armor that will need to move I don't know where to get additional fire possibilities. Uh, we can't move left or right at all on the bags. It'll count as a single fire item to go into the pit, possibly. Regardless, just having it, we are better off than we were before. It's about heat game, gain not own. Wait, when you say own, what do you mean? So the the three there. Oh, is it on its own gain? So I th I thought it was once you have twenty um, heat of any kind, it then proc the five luck, forty of any kind, etc. Is it itself just producing that? Yeah, I think it's reach. So any production works. My cute little sword is still doing nothing. Uh, yeah, I have possibly crits. We like it a lot. Um, this is not synergized with anything other than just give crits. Sure like a coal. Sure like a coal. Hey, hey! Sure would like a coal and a bag. Okay. I could sell two flames to get the coal which then goes here to make the torch. Torch and lights on fire. This fire torch. Awesome. Here comes our 10th win, potentially. That's a lot of poison. I also have the items hanging out inside. They have mobile backpacks there. Uh, they're through our armor now. We're both having stamina problems now. Luckily, as usual, the Phoenix keeps attacking. Good. So where did I change our own stamina problems now? I brought in the Draconic Orb. That does not cause any stamina problems. I brought in the armor, isn't either. So maybe just the battle ran long enough that we started having stamina problems. Also, with all the heat gain, we're attacking faster, faster, faster. That's the issue. So a banana would not be out of place here. Choose wisely! Survival mode, we just keep going. Could have gotten 19 points. Instead. Instead, instead. Hello to you, Ruby Egg. You count as fire. And you're on sale. We keep getting absolutely fascinating sales this time. Okay. Okay. Go stamina sources. No. <laughs> I mean, we have the two stamina bags. 
We have nothing that rebuilds stamina right now. I sure would like some. I sure would like some, but but no. Alright, our torch is gonna land on fire. Yeah, there is the banana. Um I have an idea. I'm not sure I like this idea. Does Tim do stuff in the armor? Oh yeah, Tim does stuff anywhere. He gives a chance to resist debuffs and crits. I like the five empower gain to finish people off faster in backpack. I mean, they're all pretty amazing. We can move the armor over one to get an additional bonus on sun armor, which gives additional fire when it starts. So Tim, you're gonna stay in backpack. Friendly fire, fire gain. So we get one additional Gotta just carefully. We get one additional heat for every fire item here. We have three, we could have a fourth. Friendly fire triggers faster consistently for every fire item. I want the consistent growth instead. This can move wherever to help with banana. I'm gonna buy the banana. I see a bag. For just one turn, I'm gonna throw Tim in some armor for crit reduction. And put that there. Oh yeah, I'd love to move the armor over there. I'd love to move the armor over here so much. I just don't have space for it right now, I think. We can move one right if we move these, which will allow us to have one, two lines then. I mean, I'd be absolutely all about it. Can that be done? I don't think this can be done, but maybe it can. I mean, is this actually preferable? This is not preferable. I'm gonna stay this way because we're not gonna get as many heat on it. Okay, little bag here. Original heat would be very, very cool. We'll see. Round 14, must survive five more rounds. Hello to you, luck person. 14 luck out of the gate. Their armor's down first. Their armor's down first. We didn't fire resurrection. We didn't burn stamina until the very end there. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, these luck builds I want to love so much. Oh, look at the gingerbread man. They have the gingerbread man. Start a battle gain 40 health. Every 2.27 seconds, use uh, luck and heat and mana to gain a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, they don't have a heat producer, do they? So Gingerbread Jerry is doing nothing other than being food. Hello, Gingerbread Jerry. You're adorable. Very complicated to use well. Uh, 11 wins. Four more rounds survive. Uh, we now have the Burning Torch. I think that's maximally upgraded. Oh, the Wapletinger does make um, heat? I didn't realize that, actually. I've never used one of those. Okay. So this can go wherever. I don't think either side is better. I mean, this could let us move the banana up. We can then have two more spots. We need one spot there for heat. And then... Move the armor. Is moving the armor actually better? I can't say that moving the armor is actually better. <laughs> to be entirely honest with you. <laughs> because... Like, yes, it would get one, two, three off the right-hand side there. But it's already getting one, two, three right here. And I guess I can move some of them over with it. 
is also help with mana orb op, uh, mana orb optimization. Sure, I'll try moving it. We'll see what happens. But as I said in the beginning of the stream today, this is a game where if you want to, you can fiddle with your bag every single time. Every single time you can fiddle with it. Banana. We can't move down. We can move the ruby egg up. Then we can move down. This can go like so. Okay, banana for speed here would be good. Okay, so we did get significantly more fire on the sun armor. I want to keep banana going. We could move this over here for more fire. Though I don't have any more fire items to move there right now. Maybe next we'll move this over. For now, though, we're going to stay like that. I think that's what we got. All right, now we're rolling. Hello, more fire. More fire, more fire, more fire, and also another bag. I can't afford both of them. I'm gonna save the bag and get more fire. Does not matter where it goes. There's more crit possibility. And stripping of more and more and more orb, or not orb, uh, more and more um, spikes. The egg hatches next turn. Exactly right. It'll hatch after next battle. I don't see a way to put the orb in this location for mana growth. I see where I can move the ruby egg. I don't see a way. All right. Let's see how this goes. Can move the torch from the armor? You could. The torch is getting a bonus from the burning blade. Hello to you, fellow Pyromancer. You have a fancy shield. Prevents damage and removes stamina from us. We're going to run out of stamina very quickly. She has gotten her first resurrection. That's her only resurrection. Ours is still not fired, I believe. Cool. Oh, cool. Uh, twelfth win. And behold, the Ruby Whelp. Uh, we can upgrade this to Obsidian Whelp, Whelp I believe. Obsidian Whelp, Whelp does more damage. Does it still count as fire fun? Reflect two debuffs, gain two heat. That's obsidian. All right, we're gonna compare obsidian whelp or obsidian dragon with red ruby whelp. Whelp, whelp, whelp. Hi, right, three point four DPS produces two. Fire. Keep thinking fire is heat, obviously. Heat, heat, heat. And counts as pet fire. Right, obsidian, then. Is bigger. 5.7 instead. At 15 heat, gain 3 more damage and a free attack. Alright. So we do want to upgrade that. Definitely. Um... We may have some troubles with placement. We do have more other bag to use. For right now, the bag lives here. For additional fire, additional good. The shield of valor and the fire combine somehow. This is like the sun shield, I believe. On attack, 35% chance to prevent 14 damage or remove stamina from your opponent. I like that. Uh, start items gain additional armor. So when they gain armor, deal four damage. The sun shield kind of reflects. Uh, what gains armor? The sun armor, when the battle begins, does. I don't think anything else gains armor, though. So I think that shield is not useful for us. The sun shield is better than the regular shield. 
So normal shield on melee, essentially all attacks. Cool, I like that a lot. Sure. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. Obsidian will grow into position. My goodness, the present, and this is the sword. The busted blade is the sword I want to make so badly sometime. All right, here's a resurrection for me. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah, the present gives you uh, five buffs. Five random buffs of any kind. And items are fancier, fancier, fancier inside the shops. Um, yeah, the sword here is the upgraded hammered sword. They have so much upgraded armor. What is their special item? Oh, it's the uh, brass knuckles here. We have a better chance of stunning. Yeah, I think the, the busted blade, along with the blacksmith anvil, would be very, very cool. Whichever way, here comes a ruby whelp upgrade. We've won 13 times now. We survived two rounds, so we are going to survive no matter what. Hello, big boy. So just get heat, it will be happy. Uh, we can do something faster. I think just obsidian speed would be interesting to me. Mm -hmm. um, gloves would help the obsidian dragon burn even faster. Mm -hmm. um, we have no particular reason to have one of these. Hey, Vera, how's it going? You're going pretty well on my end of things. More coals, more coals. Oh, Tim! 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 Hello, Tim! Tim, I think you're supposed to be, uh... hanging out in a bag slot, actually. But I do wonder if I may have lived against that last guy because of the crit reduction. Man, I should get more than one Tim, like Tim and Bob and Joe, to get all the different buffs. We're doing really good damage right now, so I'm going to stay with the crit reduction. A new bag. Hello, Goobert. Goober, do you want me Chili Bert? It's possible he wants to be Chili Bert. We'll see. If we resist crit, do you mean, mean to take zero damage? Great question, Raynor. One second. Um... They have one resurrection. We have no stamina, so the sun shield is removing my stamina. That was their re uh, resurrect there. So they burn our stamina very quickly. That said, we got high enough on heat that we got the bonus to regeneration, which is what I really wanted there. How does matchmaking work? Yeah, I believe you're being paired with people who are at the same number of wins as you, as well as being within a certain bracket of your current ranking. So that was some absolute nonsense. Um, so she was not building heat. No, no, she did build heat off the Chili Goober to get the Phoenix Resurrection. That said, they resurrected more slowly. So what... I guess their armor is not as well placed as our armor. And the same with their friendly fire. But that was... A lot. We made our bed uh, build better. Um, we had more heat generation, I believe. And we're using our placement better on each of these. Ah, good call. She also has no man mana gain, so Friendly Fire gains much, much more. Like, actually gains nothing. Yeah, you need to have mana coming in to keep the uh, Friendly Fire building up the, the heat. Okay, one more win. Let's do one more win, please. So, because we have one round left, I actually cannot build uh, Chili Bert this playthrough. We could just get Goobert for the fun of it. <laughs> I'm not quite sure where I'd place Goobert, though. I'm not going to do that then. Um, okay. Hello, Dagger. Surely one more dagger will save us. Surely, surely, surely. I'm just looking for fire things right now. No, you don't count. 
Hello, Cole. Hello, Cole. Ah, that is that. One final battle. Sure, like a last win, so we can get ourselves a. Oh God, the Dark Saber. So a whole bunch of thrown pocket sand, ruining our accuracy. That's how we resisted many of them. We are building poison. Luckily, the Phoenix and the Dragon are both still attacking, even though we have no stamina. So if we didn't have the pets here, we would have lost that. Um, for lack of stamina, but because we had those, the attack rear is fine. Cool, cool, cool. So her goal is to build um, debuffs against me. We were cleansing debuffs pretty quickly off of the stun armor there. Had we not been cleansing those, we would have lost also. So there you go. Another round one. We are currently at nine in silver. Or is she at nine in silver? I don't know. I think we are 9 in silver. How much do we move up? From 9 in silver all the way to 39 in silver. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We had one or two losses along the way. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I bet I could raise myself to the gold level on one of these. I bet. All right. So who's the farthest behind right now? I feel this, like, great desire to keep all of my characters leveling at basically the exact same speed. But we'll never taste gold that way, will we? All right. I'm pretty bad at the Reaper. Um, I don't really know how to play the Reaper other than just going in poison. Become one trick pony. <laughs> Abandon complexity. Abandon variety. Endless, endless Pyromancer. <laughs> uh, Reaper's doing pretty badly this patch. Yeah, I've only played her, I think, three times now. Maybe four times. Let's try Reaper. That other Reaper got to uh, to 14 wins also, so maybe we'll do that too. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So, um, starting Reaper is more items activating inside of the coffin equals more damage via poison being done. So, we'll get this dagger to help also. We'll buy the early regen as well. Off person, you're doing a pan build right now with four cheeses. Yeah, food builds on Reaper, super fun. Might end up doing that. Uh, pig for money, possibly. Sure, pig for money. How do we do this? Yeah, pig for money and pocket sand for starting health. Banana, yes. Early deck of cards. So I've never played deck of cards. I don't know how it's played, actually. Like, I've seen it not work <laughs> on my opposition. I've never seen a deck of cards in the late game. I've always seen it in the early game and... It's always been absolute fail. Playing cards are offered in the shop. Gain two luck. Reveal nearby playing cards. Is it a mini game? It's possibly a mini game. I possibly have pan build coming. Pan plus. What is it? Pan plus something makes pandemonium. I built it before, so we can find in the recipes. Pandemonium is pan plus corrupted crystal. Food gives more poison. Big part is really good when you start it early. If you don't get first turns, don't do it. Miss turn one, so we could try it. We try that instead of the pan. I know how to play the pan, though. Let's go pan. Let's go pan. <clears throat> Hello to you. You have no healing. I do have healing. How will this work out? It's just what does the poison build up in time. Ah, it's close. It's close. Oh, not quite, not quite, not quite. Not quite, not quite, not quite. That's okay. Ah, who needs anything other than victory for us? So begin stacking food around here. Get rid of pocket sand. All 
right, so two food now. You thought I wanted to diversify and learn new things. <laughs> I know, learning the cards is probably a good idea. Maybe next run we'll do that. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, looking for bags. Finding a bag. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, is there a way to place the banana and the garlic so they give buffs to each other? And hit the pan? I don't believe so. Uh, we're looking for vampiric crystals with a dagger or the poison potion to get more poison on a dagger. Hello to me. Hello to fire person last term. Last term, or last turn rather. She's having stamina problems, unfortunately. So we'll win this thing. Nice. Now I think there's a armor off of the holy armor that is corrupted. Yeah. So whole items become dark. 10% chance for every dark item to protect debuffs on your opponent from being cleansed. Start with big, or, uh, big block. So I like that. Look at the puppy dogs. Armored courage puppy and armored power puppy. Puppies are these days. Puppies are berserker, I believe. I've never done berserker puppy run. Look at this one. Armored wisdom puppy. So good. So good. Can you swap banana and mushroom it closer to garlic? Um, yes, but then the mushroom is not touching the garlic. So I'd like at this point for the mushroom to proc most often because poison matters more than stamina right now. And so the faster the fly agaric procs, the more poison we have out there. And that would be cool. Uh, so we don't need this armor, though it'd be nice early. Hello. Uh, food and dagger both desirable. Is that doable? Which food do I prefer? Gain armor, remove vampirism, or the straight heal? Because we're not having stamina problems at all. For the garlic. Move this to here. It strengthens the pan and also the banana. And then another dagger. Cool. <clears throat> How are you doing the stamina thing, my friend? Three weapons with one banana. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So it's a pan with dagger and herbs since pan is faster trigger. Wait, faster trigger than what? Ah, wow, early Tim. There's pan and dagger. Oh, for the... Um, yeah, I forgot the thing <laughs> for putting additional... <laughs> We're putting additional poison on the enemy. Right. That is definitely a possibility. Okay. We go like that. And then move... Like so. We're not touching all the food then. Now we are. Mushroom like so. We have one more open spot. All right. So really, really early Tim. We have to sell something or save him. I'm going to save him for maybe next round. We're rolling endlessly. Well, definitely blueberries. Additional pan fun. We now have a mana producer. Um, not sure what, if anything, we'll use with that. We have that at least. I'll buy the bag while I'm thinking about it. Tim next round. Oh, I could have put this bag on this side to have two items inside of the, uh, the coffin. So if we lose for want of... Yeah, if we lose for want of... Uh, Poison is definitely on me. Uh, this character, I don't know why, uh, has a giant shield already. While very, very cool. That's not uh, 
Uh, it's not going to prong all that often. Uh, I should have put you here instead. You like that. You like that. Or better yet, food there. Okay, so now the Flyagra is only touching one food. Here it was touching one food also. Okay. This can be absolutely anywhere. We get another garlic. Like so. We can buy Tim. The steel buffs or 50 heal. For now, 50 heal is preferable, I think. So, one less poison. This only fires once, so uh, there's only a quarter percent chance of firing. So, uh, 0.25 <laughs> less poison uh, or guaranteed to health. I prefer that. Tim, Tim, Tim. Okay. <laughs> Round number four. Round number five, rather. We see fast striking weapons, so possibly stamina issues here. Yep, definitely stamina issues for them. Up to five poison now. Hear that constant deet, 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 deet. Deet, deet, deet. Pretty good for us. Uh, speedy Delivery Fanny Pack. So I put the Speedy Delivery Fanny Pack um, with things that go into the uh, into the uh, coffin, keep it in the word. That is a great way to get additional firing. So... Is a further bonus to fly Agaric. Good. They move this this way instead. They move the fly Agaric up and have additional garlic getting in. You want the egg? You want the ruby egg? To, to quote an earlier chatter, I don't believe that synergizes correctly, Resorty. <laughs> don't think that one synergizes. We'll see though. Now, if this goes here, then this can turn. Like so, that does not help us. Hate the banana so much. Darn you, accursed banana. <laughs> okay, this goes here instead. Then it gives us some additional garlic growth. Dagger can go like so. Eh? They got synergy with Snake. I've never done Snake. Snake, that's a good point. The Snake gives... Like, poison removal, maybe? I don't remember exactly. Alright. We want the poison. Last very much. We have five. We sell the piggy. We'll get two money. Buy the flask. Flask plus dagger... Gives poison dagger. I would like that. So in the short term, that? No. Yes. <laughs> uh, buttons. Buttons. Ideally, I like this, like so. Uh, now we have the banana sped up and also procking inside of the um, coffin. I think that's good. Friends, it's time for another ad break. Been live for hours, 11 o'clock. I got one more hour to go. Uh, hour and a half, we'll say, to go. And then we'll have to say goodbye today. It's been fun, though. Being fun. Let's take our three-minute break right now. Go ahead and play a little bit of Crawford Puzzle. And, uh, yeah, thanks for being here for sure. We're going to get another win here, I think. 
Uh, it said the person detained under FDR's executive order 966 is probably Asian somebody. I'm not sure who, though. A quarry for miners. That's funny. Quarry meaning both a prey as well as a place where dump miners dig. It's or surely. Uh, New York Senator succeeded by Schumer. So who is from uh, New York before Charles Schumer was? Um, I'm sure I recognize the name. I can't remember, though. Horse bred in antiquity. The Trojan Horse. <laughs> It's probably one of the names we know of horses today. I'm not sure, though. A brief moment. Possibly a sec. A gif. Uh, don't just pop up out of nowhere like that. Uh, you scared me. Possibly. A thrill. A uh, thrill could be an exciting time. It could be to excite someone else. Not sure. Uh, Britain knots and crosses in America's call the tic-tac-toe. Uh, preferred by collectors, perhaps. Probably rarer. Uh, the Sun for one. Uh, the Sun is a, an NBA team, I believe. Um, so a basketball team is not going to fit. The Sun is also a tabloid newspaper uh, in the U.S. I'm sorry, the U.K. rather. Okay. Uh, bit, bunches of bits. Uh, bunches of bits could be bites. <laughs> bits and bites all the way. What's the down here? Neighbor of a Montenegrin is indeed a Serb, so bites seems likely. Uh, representative for Minnesota's 5th condi uh, dis Conditional District. Uh, this is... This is um, part of the squad. Her name is... Ilhan... What's her first name? Can't remember. Uh, Mong Cuts Kingdom. Is that Siam? I believe her name's Omar. So newspaper, I believe, is incorrect. I believe that Siam is where Mong Cut is. Uh, quite a while. Eons, eras, that kind of thing, maybe. To the down. Saint Blank, a West Indies nation. There's Saint Helena, or Helena. That's not in the West Indies, though. Uh, there's Saint Kitts, there's Saint Barts, there's Saint... There's lots of saints. I think Petzer is right, though, so we'll skip that for now. Uh, with speed, hurriedly, speedily, uh, maybe getting high. Member of the Golden Horde. Um, is, aren't those Mongols? That's not going to fit, though. The Golden Horde. No idea. Uh, catch. So a catch could be some kind of like business surprise. Uh, you know, What's the deal here? What have you done to me? Uh, catch of course, will also do speed to literally catch something. Uh, you can catch fish, you can catch balls. Uh, a catch is a part of a door, I believe, as well. Not sure. Uh, headmistress, perhaps. Often the word matron used for headmistresses. A sea animal often seen on its back. The otters! They go on their back and then hammer uh, mollusks on their stomachs. Slapsticks projectiles. Pies, of course, are thrown in there. Call after the first swing. I don't know. Ball one. Strike. The strike one is correct. Which means that whitefish is not what crabs are made out of. I thought it was. I have nothing more to say. That is all. Instead of that's all. Uh, sampling of an exotic life. A menagerie. Menagerie is what that is. Uh, Low-quality copies of your uh, Mimeos? I think it's Mimeographs. Before they had good copiers. All right, a good bit of progress there. Back to it in one more hour. Thanks for hanging out, folks. Hope you're enjoying yourself as we continue learning this game. We have no money, so it must be time to push the Let's Battle button. Oh, this person has the pandemonium. They also have the poison goobert, so they're gonna build poison much faster than I am. And I don't see us winning this. Yeah, us but better, definitely. Uh we haven't seen the item for pandemonium yet, and we did see a goobert. We could have gone poison goobert. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Hey, it's another one of the delightful flies. Also, we now have a poison dagger, so uh, more poison, more good. Okay. 
I would like to buy you and you for additional speed on these. All right, so ideally I want to have the flagger going into the um, either the pan or the coffin or both. If I move you down to whoops, move you down to here. You're at least on the pan and the garlic. If this goes here, we can get more on the pan by moving a banana down. Is that true? That's not true. What a liar. <laughs> move it down again. The banana would fit there, but nothing else would. Okay. We want to find at least one more. I mean, a cheese would be so good. I would love a love of cheese. Okay. Getting the card increases our chance of finding cheese. No luck. Blueberry so good, though. Blueberry fits right here. More pan damage. Or we prefer pandage. Oh, let's put the poison dagger with the poison instead. Speed of three seconds versus speed of 3.5. Yeah, poison dagger definitely preferable there. You can't get cheese on this character. Oh, really? Cheese is only on someone else. I did not know that. I thought you could. I thought I've had it before, but maybe not. Maybe not. You went to a pizza place in Nakamegro the other day that had great blueberry cheesecake ice cream. Blueberry cheesecake ice cream. I don't even know how to think about that. Not even sure. Uh, this fine character has the giant pumpkin. It's a unique item. It counts as food. At nightfall, both characters... Both characters take increasing fatigue damage. So more and more damage. When they get fatigued, they get additional heat to speed up their weapons firing. Also, greater chance of stunning. I don't think we're stunned that many times. Also, stunning doesn't matter nearly as much on this character as others because the poison still works despite the sun. Stun, rather. Good. You've had a lot of cheesecake flavors and ice cream. They're all great. Really? <laughs> Really? <laughs> I don't want to say they're not, but I find like Japanese ice cream flavors very strange at times. Uh, just because they uh, include things like grass. Uh, not for me. Uh, so always I go Vampress, right? Vampress lets us steal life, which is amazing. Amazing. Is it possible to tie in this? So I've never seen a tie. I have seen battles won by one health. I do wonder what happens if both folks hit zero simultaneously. If there's like a random outcome where one is given one HP just to resolve the battle. But I haven't seen. Hexblade on sale. And how does Hexblade work? On stun it triggers extra attack. So if a stun item would be very, very cool. The current player wins on ties. Got it. Thank you. On hit, two ram debuff. Also, starred items have a bonus to accuracy and crit with every debuff on your opponent so stack poison get accuracy put with daggers presumably alchemist heal for 10 or 3 mana or 2 heat triggers faster for food or potions nearby so Alchemist could be interesting with the current food pile. Put this over here, for instance. But I want to try Hexblade. I haven't tried it before. So I want to get the Hexblade onto items that need accuracy. The pan, the dagger. I'll also find something that allows us to stun. Cool. Cool, cool. How fast do you go? 2.2. So faster than that poison dagger. One second. I'd like to have more bags. For right now, not ideal. 
Uh, I'm going to get the pan strength and also if possible. We have up to four item strength. We have one right now. Oh, good call. Another poison dagger. We'll definitely get that going in a second here. Blood amulet would be nice also. Just to get more life stealing, but not right now. A new bag. Amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Let that go in there. Wait, why do I want that? <laughs> I'm thinking about finding ways to get additional items into the casket, but without moving this, it's not going to work. So that doesn't really matter. What does matter is that. I think. Hello to pineapple. Pineapple's a food to give some healing, also give some spikes. Um, so once this is gone, we can move the dagger somewhere else and then put the pineapple here next to the garlic. Sure, absolutely. More food, more good. <laughs> Gotta find ways to get additional weapons onto the, uh, the dagger. If we rotate this one, we'd have two there instead. Oh God, so much stun. <laughs> all right, thank you for healing. I don't know where all that healing came from, but my goodness, uh, I think we got stunned twice in a row there. Look at all these bananas. So maximum bananitude to keep that hammer swinging. Goodness gracious. They're trying to luck their way up. All right, so how do we get the heal? Like, what was that heal? Uh, was just all the bananas firing, possibly? Because nothing else gives healing here, correct? Yeah, I think we just got healed off bananas at the perfect time. That was pretty silly, though. Pretty, pretty silly. Oh, yeah, the log tells us. Oh, the log. Thank you. Where did the healing come from? The bananas firing. A little bit of health via regeneration. I thought we got a much, much larger heal at some point. Oh, Tim! Tim! I forgot. This is why we keep Tim in the backpack. Because you get 50 heal when your health drops below 30. Tim, this run belongs to you. I forgot we had Tim. Oh, thank you, Tim. Absolute hero, Tim. That's great. <gasps> All right, so Death Scythe would begin consuming our stamina appropriately. It would actually over-consume right now. Uh, it gives giant bonus two amount of poison deployed. Um, I do not know. Do not know. There's no way we can run it. It's on sale, though. I like sales. I like sales a lot. For the scythe, I would probably need more bananas. Also, still these healing herbs here. I wonder if it kept us alive. They must have at some point. So... I don't know if we can run both the scythe and the pan without having a tremendous amount of um, bananas or more stamina bags. That said, even if the scythe is not attacking, it still gives better chance of poison. So having that across the coffin is so good. I need a corrupted gem to upgrade the pan. We've not seen one all the way through so far. Okay, because we're not over-consuming stamina, I think I want to take one banana out for right now and get another poison crater in. Do I believe the words I'm saying? I'm not sure if I do. We just find one more bag. <sighs> one more bag. Uh, so for next round, we can get that. Or... Our regen cells for two. Okay. The pan is fully loaded. 
if we had to fly Agaric here, it would strengthen this garlic more. And then you can move to the banana for faster banana-ing. Or if you go here, you're going to give bonuses to both of them, and Tim can live to the side there. If we die, do not having the regen, I'm pretty bummed. <laughs> that said, we do have the uh, pineapple now. We do have even more speed. I guess this works. <laughs> Round nine. Hello to you, Crusader. The chance protect buff might be removed. Holy items activate more often. She has huge stamina problems. What are you even doing? No, but really, what are you even doing? So, wh wh why? <laughs> uh, I, I guess they were trusting that the Phoenix was going to do all the attacking for them, but they had huge stamina problems with word go. Yeah, I'm not sure on that. Not sure on that at all. And they don't need another sword. Like, clearly another sword, no good. Yeah, no clue. No clue. The Tim says again? No. We didn't get down to Tim's Zone at all that time. <sighs> so we can afford the scythe now. Without additional bags, I'm not sure about it. Um... Demonic Flask. Consume this and deal 0.35 damage for each debuff on your opponent. Which is to say, all those poisons, very, very, very good. I think that's the correct item for right now. The only issue is how to get it into our bags. There's a way of potentially finishing off uh, enemies more quickly. Thank goodness cheap bag. Can you even believe it? Can you even believe it? And possibly another poison for I don't know what. Maybe another dagger. We'll see. I think I'm gonna get rid of the scythe. Uh, the big old blade. This person's gone. Rune master. So greater and greater chance of stunning and doing crazy damage. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so on non-stuns, it hits for 64. It got, or not non-stuns, non-crits, it hit for 64. I believe it also hits for 100 whatever. So, yeah. Yeah, the Busted Blade uh, does not synergize terribly well with our attempt to make the fights run long. So, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I want that weapon so badly one playthrough, but unfortunate. All right. We're only at three wins here in round 11. But finally! But finally, I'll give you the Corrupted Crystal. We got the Pandemonium coming in straight away. Fantastic. Is there a way I can stack my two potions together? I don't think so. I do want a potion bag. So Pandemonium, I believe, changes in size in a moment here. I don't remember how exactly. Right now, we'll just have the potion hang out. Oh, it is synergizing. My apologies, it is synergizing. So when the opponent regenerates health... It was one by three. Thanks for that. The pan does change to one by three instead. Cool. Um, so it's set up right now. The first time the opponent generates health will have the debuff damage. We want that the other way. And for the reason of um, we're not going to have any debuffs stacked at that point. I think 
think that is correct. I'll get a second proc of more poison then. Also, also, also. Sure, we're gonna have to have these two cards combine. Mm. We'll throw it eventually. Ah, Lord of the Beasts. These beasts are gonna do a ton of melee damage to us. Uh, we're up to 30 poison right now. Praise be to the banana healing. Praise be, praise be. A uh, new bag and the new pan both. Nice. Uh, so I sure would like this. Put the stamina bag with the, instead of the speed bag, have the daggers go faster. Oh, you're absolutely right. I mean, that's, that's like a lot, of, a lot of good sense there. Because the speed bag here is not really doing that much work. Oh gosh, what a mess. <laughs> And because the uh, daggers are uh, free on stamina, going fast makes sense. Okay, so you're now three by one. What does that do again? Uh, when food activates, inflict one poison, as well as swinging as well. Can you get the scythe in? I just don't see a way of doing so. Maybe, just give me a moment to work on this part first. I know you want the scythe. I know you want the scythe. The scythe's pretty cool, but I'm not sure how it would work. Okay, so it's four items. When they go, they cause additional poison. Whatever it activates most quickly is ideal here. Does the plan need to be in a coffin? It doesn't need to be, no. It could be. But it's every two seconds proccing. I guess it is pretty fast. This is 3.5, this is five seconds, very, very slow. So unfortunately, I'd like to find a way to do what? To have three different here, three different kinds of um, uh, three different kinds of, of food rather. So a banana could go there. We have one more open spot there. That also strengthens the banana. If I got a garlic up here, that'd be great. Um, in this, whoops. In this position, the banana fires quicker. Maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, what does the scythe do again? Items in it range inflict double poison. I mean, obviously, this might this be very cool. This would at least give three of them. But I probably want to stack this with the pan. Or closer to the, the coffin. So here would be with coffin. Fine, we'll make it work. Fine, we'll make it work somehow. All right, how do we go about doing this then? I'm gonna rotate both of these. So 
the one dagger can fit there. We're now strengthening three items, four items. We are over consuming stamina. We have the bananas though. Hannah's hitting everything. We're now having two fly aggregates side by side, which I don't prefer, but it has a higher chance then of putting more poison out. Oh, also, our curse of dagger's not being used anymore. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> All right. So we can at least strengthen the curse of dagger. Sorry, the um, Death Scythe. So clearly what I'd like is to have something like that. That then removes... That doesn't remove the pandemonium, pandemonium spot, which went here. We could have two other weapons in this range. By rotating this, we can do so. But then we lose a buff on the Death Scythe. I don't know which is preferable, honestly. I'm just not sure. Okay, what I am sure about, I want to combine those. It would be cool to get another garlic in here, like so. Uh, a complete overhaul. I think we're stronger now that we have the Death Scythe going. Stamina problems are definitely going to happen. Switch the garlic and the fly. So the reason I'm not... It's me, I mean, like this here. Um, this here? The reason I'm not is I want the scythe to be increasing the chance of the fly agaric firing its um, uh, firing its poison. So we're losing out on speed for the sake of more poison. I think I like that. Maybe. Possibly. I don't know what I like anymore. I'm just confused. <laughs> Here, Spare Garlic, you live there. Right for the poison, actually. So the poison does put poison on me also. It'd be better if I had a position to have it affected by the scythe. That's not going to happen, though. So I'm not going to use this. I'll put the garlic in instead. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Hello, Sliver. Welcome back. <laughs> All right. Whole bunch of pocket sand. 13 pocket sand. We have no more accuracy ever again. Luckily, we have the... Tim's going to save us here. There's Tim. Tim already fired. <laughs> so, is my setup actually worse than before? That is the question. The question is, have I made it worse by trying to put everything all at once? Oh, Tim's only opponent's on low health. Thank you. It's not when I'm on low health. So, Tim did not save us, but that's okay. Huh. I don't know how that worked. What I do know, though, is another one of these potions will help us put even more damage if we can get them under 50 health. That's a big, big, big if. Um, I might want vampirism. We'll see. Two tries left. Uh, again with the luck, a mana thirst weapon. So they're producing mana in a big way. They're putting a lot more damage than we are. That's so we're pro ha! we're procking huge amounts of poison now, but they have so many buffs. Yeah, that vampirism though. All right, we got one try left. And then we don't get our 10 wins for the first time in a long time. So the gloves could speed up 
are weapons. I have enough to buy both of these. If I move this... I'd like to move the leather bag or something down to a position where we can have the gloves strengthen the speed of the dagger. But I'm not seeing that. move up, we'd have to get rid of both of these. I don't think this will work, but let's check and see. Maybe Vampire Love soon, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, we've lost a um, speed increase on the banana here. But I think that's a good sacrifice to take of this. Now, we have no way of dealing with buffs, so... We'll see what... Oh, shoot. No, no, no. We'll see what happens. Also, there's a better place with the Platinum card. So you are legendary. You are legendary. You are unique. The flasks are godly. If we put it here, we get three debuff reflections. 60 buff reflections. At the loss of the garlic speed bonus. I think I prefer that. So we're slowing down our stamina health generators. But reflecting some debuffs. I have no idea. Ah, do we get one last victory? Wait, 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 tarot cards! Tarot cards! So someone's actually doing the tarot card thing. Look, it's Charmander! Hollow Fire Lizard. Deal 12 plus 4 damage for each card before it. So I don't know why that thing starts the uh, chain here. It seems to be stronger when there's more and more cards afterwards. Alright, they've got some buffs. We now have our Vampirism also. Uh, they're turning now to the Lovers. So the Lovers steal 11 life. If there were card before is even, gain 2. So it's odd instead. So that's not ideal. <laughs> but, so they stole 11 life. I'm going to keep pausing on this one because I want to see how cards work. White Eyes Blue Dragon. On reveal, gain 12 armor plus 6 armor for each card before. So 1, 2... 24 armor. We also inflict 3 cold. We reflected some of that. Another one. The Ace of Spades. Next hit's critical. If the number of cards before is odd, gain 2 luck, 2 spikes. So they got that. Now, luckily, this develops pretty slowly, which means that we're building up huge debuffs, which means we will win. Unless they have some kind of card that, like, causes a... Uh, a resurrection. The Darkest Lotus. What a great name. For each card before, gain three mana, remove three buffs from the opponent. So we've lost all of our regen. Okay, so they removed uh, 12 buffs there. We still won. Yeah, so if this were against a, a fast removing deck, we'd definitely have some troubles. But decks seem to move fairly slowly. I wonder if there's any modifier that speeds up deck. So the number of lovers for more healing also. That is pretty cool indeed. I wonder how many different cards there are. And I wonder why they didn't put the fire one substantially later. Hmm, that's confusing though. Anyway, big win, big win. Can we get just one more win? Uh, vampire gloves. Items are starred, trigger faster. Banana is not helping anything here. So that seems good. We can have the banana. We can't have the banana go to speed there, unfortunately. Is there a way to get this to work? I don't know on any of those things. 
I mean, giant healing, kind of hilarious. Sure, 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 sure. More healing, more good. Last dish ever here. Okay, beloved banana. Don't see it make you go where I want you to go, unless we junk a garlic. No idea if right. Come on, 10th win. A uh, whole bunch of life steal here. Also, we have stealing buffs. 100 armor remaining. Uh, this is primarily a just keep getting health build. Luckily, it goes fairly slowly and sort of 72 poison now. So this will be a win for us. He's under one health. Oh, gosh. Okay. We end up with 110, 116 poison. Uh, had they been putting out any more damage, we would have died very, very early there. But thanks, Tim. Tim kept us alive that time. Uh, we got 50 health healed. We ended up at 40, so good job, Tim. 10 wins. 10 wins for 18 points. We'd be at uh, 20 silver if we do that. Or we just keep going. Survive three more rounds on two health. We have to win one more round, and we definitely survive. Excellent. Excellent items here. Okay, I don't have anything that combines with Blood Amulet right now. So it just gives us a little bit more vampirism. We could have another bag. That other bag would help us to put the garlic back in. Um, is there a placement for garlic that will help the most? Yeah, uh, it'd be over here ideally. But... Here, ideally. So, increase speed on the pineapple for healing. I have one open spot. Ah, never mind. Let's say I have one more open spot. I can get one healing herb. And in that way, have two more regen. We have an open slot for it, but I don't want to sell anything, I don't think. I mean, the pestilence flask is not helping us that much. I'm going to take the heal instead. And that's... Okay. So, we could get one more berry to help the delightful banana go faster. That's all the money. That's all we got. I think that's that. We just win one time. I believe we survive. Ah! <laughs> I see resurrection. I see cold. Luckily, cold is not super relevant for us, given the poison thing. But this is a disaster. This is an absolute disaster. I guarantee it. <laughs> Thanks, Tim. There's Tim. There's Tim. <laughs> hey, Tim saves again. I was sure we were going to lose that time. Yeah, the combination of pets and then all that chilling, 30 chill. If we were doing more with melee, uh, that would be so, so annoying. Uh, like, clearly, Berserker is just absolutely countered by that much cold. But Tim saved us once again. Thanks, Tim. Uh, two more rounds. Two more rounds. What can we do here? I move you up like so and buy this. We can get another poison creator, and that gives additional buffs to the speed of the banana. Uh, actually, same buffs, rather. Okay. Daggers are always cool. Pocket sand, we have no space for right now. How about a bag? How about a bag? How about a bag? Hey, it's a bag. I can fit both of these in. One more dagger. It becomes bloody. And we can't afford pocket sand, unfortunately. But that is good. That is good to good. Now, the 
Dagger, when upgraded, gets a bonus for touching Vampiric. So we want the Dagger to be touching the Vampiric Gloves after this round, potentially. Okay. Survive two rounds, two tries. Here we go. Um, with lack of bananas, they're going to run out of stamina pretty fast. They're trying to force me down before they're out of stamina. They didn't do so. Yeah, that's what it comes to. Uh, they might still win, unfortunately. Yeah, they did still win. As I said previously, I don't know how these builds work, uh, where you're constantly out of stamina. They do have the Heroic Potion, which gives some stamina back. Um, do they have any other stamina generator? Not that I know of. The Villain Sword. Melee weapons deal less damage, but deals more damage itself with more melee weapons. The Double Axe. Costs less stamina. Yeah, they kept the thing going despite the uh, stamina issues. We sent him to 50 poison that time, but didn't quite make it. He did do a lot of damage, it's absolutely true. I'm just not exactly sure what we could have done to help with that. Okay, so I moved a fruit a food out of there. With that food moved out, the pan is not inflicting as much poison. So I think it's preferable to have the bloody dagger here to get the vampiric bonus. Every time we hit, we get four more healing with the vampiric item there. Hello, Jerry. Get 40 more health of the uh, situation starts every three seconds. Using they don't have. So it would just be 40 max health. We don't see that happening, unfortunately. <gasps> more vampirism. More vampirism. More bags. Uh, it's a speed bag for Poison Dagger and Garlic. Is that actually what I want? Speed Bag for Bananas would be very cool, but I don't see a way to make that work. Okay. Looking for cheap stuff. So we could get plus one damage onto the dagger or lower the enemy accuracy. I'm going to lower their accuracy. It probably does not matter. And that is that. All right. Possibly the final round. Hey, it's me. Hey, it's me with 200 armor. <laughs> and so much armor. <laughs> uh, luckily, we are much, much higher on poison than she is. And we got through her armor. So I think we win this. I believe we win because of our poison stacking all the way. Ah, <sighs> we survived through all of them. Plus 23. Slowly but surely we climb. GG, GG, GG. Everyone's grown in silver a little bit. I got 45 minutes left for probably one more round. I don't see us getting anyone to gold today. So we didn't focus down on anybody. But who do I play for our last round today? I think we've actually not done a ranger today. Is that true? Maybe we did one ranger. So we try to do Pets Ranger. I think Pets Ranger is food plus pets. Let's try that. Let's try that here. Okay. So we've only moved up so far in our... Uh, we've only moved up so far in all of our playthroughs today. We haven't lost any LP. I hope that continues. My uh, cheap banana is great. Um, a second weapon would be cool. Shield is fun also. Um... Dagger is a good second weapon. Um, how do we move this around? Okay, so like this actually we can strengthen both of our weapons. Good. Round one. Test your might. This time we did not have any um, regen other than the banana. I think we're okay with the banana. Early game, everyone has all the stamina in the world. Nice. One win. Ooh, 
I'm not quite sure what kind of sword I'm trying to make right now. Our stamina usage is still well low. I think it's time for pig. It's time for pig. Maybe lucky pig. We'll see. The bow is 0.4. Would that be at 1.1? Stamina consumption. So that's okay as long as we go forever. Okay. Goobert! Goobert, no! Uh, we're putting out enough damage that we will win here. Uh, even with Goobert proc, we'll still win. Good. Okay. If we're trying to go for pets and such, um, then... Then what? We should probably start buying food early. I think we might be going luck build instead. I'm not quite sure on that. Additional healing herbs, super great. Um, but there are four. If only they were on sale. No sales for us. All sales, final thank you. That's a lot of weapons. That is not stamina neutral. That is absolutely not stamina neutral. One more swing out of stamina. Yep. I missed a whetstone, that was very really. Yep. Oh gosh! Alright, so their non-stamina neutral build almost almost destroyed us. <laughs> I can't believe I missed a whetstone. I'm excited about clicking through, I suppose. I don't really need more bags right now. As usual, if I don't take a bag, it's all gonna fall apart. A whetstone, never punished, always lucky, etc. We haven't done a flute build today. It gives us luck, and luck matters so much. I can only afford one for right now. So next turn, flute's gonna hang out here, I think. I don't know if anything consumes mana in the build I'm trying to make. Hello, friend. I see you know your bananas well. Oh, there's a battle rage. I think we'll survive through it. I think incorrectly, unfortunately. Oh, oh okay. Only two health. Only two the health there. It was a close one. Ah, uh, we have our hero sword now. So other weapons it touches gain two damage. Cool. We have our flute also. In this position, the flute makes all our weapons go faster. In this position does the same. A little piggy, which does not matter at all. Banana strength there. And there, so you have a second band there as well. Basically, everything that matters is now strengthened. Good. Uh, stamina bag, not really needed yet, but will be needed eventually. Gonna make a lucky pig. Gonna make a lucky pig. Yep, good. All right, bring it again. Hello, fire friend. So the longer this one goes on, the more problems we have. There's some armor. That random armor, so good. This is the part where they are absolutely ramping up on speed with that uh, that fire. It's okay though. Where did we get that um, that armor from? armor come from. Uh, random chance of gaining armor via the flute. Not under control, but really glad I bought that now. Uh, it's four wins on one loss. And there's Lucky Piggy Bank. So, as of right now, as of right now, I have nothing that... Is that true? 
that's an on hit chance. So right now we can just live here to give the uh give the flute even more targets for tricking me faster. Okay. Uh cap resilience. I don't know if that upgrades with anything we care about. <clears throat> Let us see. It might only turn the discomfort, which nullifies buffs. It reduces very early damage. I don't think we need you. Like, I don't think mana is used for anything right now. So I think we just reroll. Vampirism or bonus crit chance on our weapons. So we go here we hit most of the weapons. We move the banana to here instead, it's still being affected. And move our dagger to here. Okay, so all the daggers, all the weapons now have a bonus crit chance on luck. Probably want both of these at some point. We'll see. Oops. Hey, we have the banana, or the uh, flute almost all, all, all the way filled. So, quite a bit faster than before. <sighs> Hello to you, other hunter. Oh, other hunter is a very attractive fall, fall outfit. That's a complete outfit, I believe. So much unlocked on their side. Uh, what am I seeing for them? They've already used their poison flask. I'm seeing I need some heal. I'm seeing I need some healers from armor. We got some armor! Hey, We won by one point, so that's a tie to the tie to the runner there. Yeah, we didn't get near as much armor as I would have liked. Um, we got a decent amount of luck, though. So, yeah, the flute helps no matter what it gets. Like, it's all beneficial to me. You got probably not stamina. Seeing that the stamina is a uh, possibility, maybe more weapons would be good. Crossword time? In seven minutes, we got a crossword. Are you stopping in only for the crossword? <laughs> oh, it's a hammer. Oh, it's a hammer. Okay, I did say... I did say... I did say, I did say, I did say... That the hammer might not be the worst of items. So, possibility of stuns. Because it's possibility of stuns... I'd like to have Little Piggy strengthen it. Now it's up to 65% uh, chance of stunning. Now our stamina usage is very, very high <laughs> at, <laughs> at 2.4. So while I feel the flute will help us, we're definitely gonna stamina out with this build. So, I get rid of the short bow. I attempt to put the hammer into, oh dear, I put the hammer into the crit box instead. And if you're like this, you get the bonus. Almost maximum flute. Is there a possibility of finding more lucky items? The whetstone. Lots of cool stuff, all too expensive. We're still very high usage. We're Double stamina consumption is just the sword and the hammer. Also, it's a way to put the sword in to bonus the dagger as well as the hammer. Uh, like that would do so, but then the acorn collar can't hit all the weapons. So two more damage or 5% increase on crit chance. May as well use the bow for even more going over stamina. No, 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 no. All right, I usually care about stamina quite a bit. We'll see how a I don't really care about stamina build works. Okay. Come on, stamina! Come on, stamina! You can do it. No stun yet. No stun yet. Stunned. Oh, the battle raging. Another stun. Okay, we're on stamina one time and all of that. And we got a subclass unlock now. Okay, 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 okay. So, given what we have, unfortunately, 
It is the piercing arrow, I believe it's best here. Because we just don't have nature items. And so both of these are nature items. We've done the luck, done the luck previously, but I don't think we need that. Beastmaster, the more food we have, the faster our stamina would proc. And we can get pets. So Beastmaster or Hunter both seem fun, and nothing's on sale, unfortunately. Okay, we're gonna try Piercing Arrow. Weapons deal additional crit damage, removing shield also. When items activate, 4% chance of gaining additional luck. Okay, that bonuses both of the weapons. Hey, Foxhole Games, let me go, my friend. Thanks for the follow today, folks. It's been nice to see so many of you popping in and hanging out with me. Hope we're doing well. I ideally want to put my dagger down here because of the weapon bonus also. Cool. All right, 14 money. Um, because stamina is a big issue, anything that gives me more stamina, we absolutely need. And, 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 and. Vampire gloves would be cool. For now... So if we speed up any of our weapons other than the dagger, we're gonna have some major problems with, with stamina consumption. So for now, I'm just gonna take the vampirism part. Into the dagger instead of into the gloves. Let's think. So vampire gloves cause even more speed. I think I prefer lifesteal until stamina gets sorted out. And I'm probably gonna sell my bow. If I sell the bow, we're at two money only. It does not help us. Except, well, never mind. I would say except the possibility of having um, additional speed for the uh, bananas. All right, the stuns. All right, the stuns. Another good stun. This person's name is Smiley Face. Hello, Smiley Face. I've oh, got three stuns there. Absolutely huge. Look at your cute name there. Boring old resorty. Nice equals uh, parenthesis. Another good win. We could get a second flute. <laughs> so we could have a second flute, which we put here for even more armor, stamina, or luck. That would help with stamina even more. I can afford both of these items. So, yeah. Clearly, yeah. Oops. And then stamina box goes here. Grab gloves. And gloves speed up bloody dagger. Still huge stamina problems. Um, would it make sense to combine the Gloves of Haste and the Hero Sword? I believe that makes... What is it? Some kind of like long sword? I think this thing maybe? I've seen it but never made it. It's longer and it takes even or swings more often so even more um, stamina consumption. I think the answer is no on that right now. Friends, it's been another hour. It's been another hour of gameplay. So we're gonna pause the game right there. Do three minutes of ads. Do some crossword puzzle. After the crossword puzzle, we'll finish out this run. And with this run finished, oh boy, how do we gonna win big? Get some more points, I think. Anyway, let's see what we get here. Um, let's see, let's see. Twenty down. Terry's in the tub. Uh, maybe soaks possibly. Terry's in the tub. Uh, prunes doesn't fit, unfortunately. Uh, Cyril hosts Sarah Koenig, or Koenig, a Japanese show with many fans. <laughs> uh, no, no theater has people waving fans, of course. That's great. Uh, dense dessert, I'm not sure. Uh, aromatic flowers of Chinese origin. Some kind of roses, probably tea roses. So dense dessert could be a tart, possibly. Uh, better start paying attention is look sharp. So tort instead of tart. Good. Um, like silk or cotton candy, uh, both are spun. 
The poodle in Peanuts or Rugrats. So a, a dog in Peanuts or P Rugrats. Well, Peanuts, of course, has um, Snoopy, but it's not a poodle. Uh, no clue, no clue. Uh, shortstop at Wrigley Field, for example. Um, so it's a Cubs player. Wrigley Field is, is baseball. It is in Chicago. It's on the north side. They're a National League team. Not sure. Oh, short stop could be like attempting to stop short. So instead of playing the position, you're running fast and stopping before something happens. So trying to avoid a tag, maybe? Not sure. A delivery company with a carrot logo. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Farm fresh something. Uh, get beaten by is lose out to division of uh, Dante's Inferno. I mean, there are of course levels, but also there are books called Contos. What's corns here? Uh, complaints under hiking. You know, hiking your feet hurt because you have corns. A uh, tailor in a way. So tailor could be to sew, but it could also be um, to fit something just right. We'll see. Let's see across here. What crab sticks are made of? Are they made of, like, fish paste? Is that a thing? Fish paste? <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, units of mass. Units of mass. Um, so mass, of course, is the Catholic um, weekly ceremony, or daily ceremony, so prayers. Volcano on the Armenian coat of arms. I do not know. Alfred Hitchcock film, whose title character is dead before the story begins. Yeah, I don't know Hitchcock all that well. A uh, pro at the podium is an orator. Uh, home to the University of Ghana. Um, what's that called? What's that called? Um, is Dhaka in Ghana? I don't think it is. Conference attendees laminate. That's an ID tag. Uh, here's some French, or possibly some Italian, rather. Le Cire de... No idea. It could be a moray, possibly. Always love love. Uh, Maslow's Concern, Hierarchy of Needs. Uh, concert Merch Offering, a t-shirt. All right, let's work off what we have largely finished here first. So, um, the New York Senator that came before Schumer. Is it D'Amato, possibly? Possibly. Horse Britain Antiquity. An Adrian? Adriatic? Not sure. A thrill is to elate. The sun's for one. The sun for one. It's a tabloid, like I said. Or a tour spelled that way. Sun. It's also, like I said, a, a basketball team. Hmm. Uh, quite a while's ages. Tries to do these across this here. Working by Dawn Light say, up and Adam. <laughs> up and up and Adam. Oh, this is gonna be very upsetting. Where up and at it? It's one of those like ruralisms. I've been doing how it's pronounced or spelled. It's too good. I can't resist. So Mimeos is wrong. There's some other kind of early copying. A source of bubbles, an aerator. Uh, the game is back to now. Uh, lithos instead. Lithos? Are not... Oh, dittos. Isn't it like a ditto machine, possibly? Something like that. Anyway, anyway, anyway. We got half an hour to go to finish this particular bit of the playthrough. We got three money left. I already about, we're about stamina usage. We're not going to do that. We'll Reroll. We have two. We get two for selling this back. We could get a garlic, which would potentially help the speed on the bananas. But there's no way for me to put that in on that side. The stamina bag is more important. All right, hello to you, a person with... What are you doing? 
Wait, what are you doing? I'm so confused. They have the blacksmith anvil, but no weapon other than their starting hammer. Do you try to win via fatigue, maybe? Like, they have so much stamina production. <laughs> I, I, I'm confused. I mean, very cool to have all those upgrades. We only have one weapon, my friend. May as well be the Dragon Warrior. Well, the Dragon Warrior for sure. We could move the card. You have to run out of that. And then... Does that help us get Garlic in position? I don't think it does, unfortunately. Because Garlic is two. Uh, more stamina. More good. Second card. Cool. Carrot. Cleanses debuffs. Put it there. Sell bow. Buy spot. She's not a bot spot. Could have fit the dagger right there without uh, any troubles. Well, let's get us a little more armor. That's good. Sell this back for more damage. It's only seven armor. Let's do this. Fine. That was a slight misplay. We wasted, what, two money there? Oh, horror of horrors. Hello, poison friend. Poison vampire friend. She's gonna get some serious health regen once her uh, poison stacked high enough. Also, she stripped my luck. That's okay, though. Cool. Hammer's worth that. That's uh, so the golden card now. But it like so it activates on the arrow and the bloody dagger. I think I have nothing else to potentially proc on other than the flutes. So it goes here. Oh, the flutes are only rare. Or epic rather. So these are the only high level items I have for the uh debuffs to work on. Uh lightsaber, but -ba -da, we don't have any generation of uh Regeneration, so no. Too late for gems. Possibility of getting armor. Or even more bananas. <laughs> sure, why not? Let's do even more bananas. Because why not? Oh, nice. Nice is nice. So, I'm gonna go for a bloody gloves for now. To speed up the bloody dagger and also get a bonus for another vampiric item touching. That's great. That's great, great. Ah. God be praised for all these stamina bags. I see no resurrections. I see very fast attacking. I see possibly stamina issues in the future. Except my stuns are cause them not to attack and so it's building up stamina for them to not swing constantly they are hitting stamina issues though uh, we've yet to hit a stamina issues we may have too many bananas possibly just not a stun hey <laughs> this entire playthrough comes to can a brother get a stun so we didn't lose it all did we we didn't lose a single time on that run um Survive seven more rounds. I only have like 17 minutes. Can I do seven rounds in 17 minutes? Let's see, we're at 34 right now. So plus 19, we will go over 50. We could get plus 33. Just keep going. All right, time for speed play. Time for speed play. Boom, boom, boom. Uh, Corrupted Crystal gives what? Additional damage and enemies low. That could be very good on the hammer. If we get seven debuffs, we're not doing that. Or fatigue damage. All right, hammer smash. The trumpet does what? It occasionally gains empower, so more weapon damage. I don't know where I'd put it, unfortunately. We can just get the boots. For additional luck and such. 
but Stone Skin Potion, if you have 40 of armor, you get even more armor. We do not have 40 of armor ever. Yeah. We didn't have standard problems last time, so I immediately think, hmm, time to get a life-stealing blade. <laughs> Uh, okay. If I just buy Light Stifling Blade, it is Vampiric, so we can pile it with these items also. Uh, next turn we get that. For this turn... This does not help us at all. Unless I want to try to get the, um... This banana down here for the carrot. I don't think that's doable. Big sword, big fun in just a moment here. Hello, luck friend. So luck friend here is producing a bunch of um, of spikes. Their lightsaber is keeping Goobert healing. As usual, we just need the stuns. Two in a row. Three in a row. Oh, they win by one point. They win by one point there. So that means they actually won that as opposed to lost that way because Ty goes to the resorty. Yeah, the spikes with our damage did some real work. It was close though. It was close though. So we're doing roughly right right now. And I had no stamina problems, I believe. So time for Hungry Blade. Okay, in this position, the Vampiric Dagger has two vampires against it. It's also all getting bonuses from the Acorn Collar. So more crit chance on everything, except for this sword over here. This sword is not well placed right now. It is not giving a bonus to all the weapons. It's just giving two damage to this one weapon. And... Uh, the Hungry Blade does not care if it's touching vampirism. Only the Bloody Dagger does. So the Platinum Custom card goes here to get bonus off of both of those. This one's here. It's another bonus to the Bloody Dagger, but it's not touching that vampire weapon. So that is preferable. Cap. So Garlic for Banana I think is fine. Additional vampire possibilities. Or additional vampire weapon and bag. Uh, we can't move left at all. Nor can move up at all. So how would that work? I'll, I'll save for right now. Okay. It's losing our vampire's item though. Alright, the person put out a lot of damage. They got cheese. The stun will be our salvation. A hit with no stun. A hit with no stun. A hit with a stun. Uh, they're battle raging now. Just get through this. Stun the battle rage. 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 Cool. Cat. So we can now afford both of those. And is there a way I can get? I mean, we can definitely just do this for right now. To upgrade another bloody dagger. I don't see an easy way to get it touching this as well. We have to move our acorn collar or piercing arrow. Or our customer card. But we want to go there. I'm not seeing maximum synergy possibilities, but that's okay. Also, this flute's not hitting nearly enough things, but the hammer has to go somewhere. Little carrot. Carrot to strengthen, stamina growth. Looks nice. Must survive five more rounds. All right, whole bunch of fire here. Whole bunch of fire. The longer they go, the more powerful they get. They're already up to 24. 
30. So they don't have the happy fire guy that gives big bonuses for higher and higher fire. It's going to be close. It's going to be real close. They're doing too much damage. We're going to lose. Okay. So um, this is a case where the cold really affects us. So every item triggers slower and slower and slower. Uh, so earlier in the channel, people said that the uh, cold build is absolutely devastating at times. We see that right here. Like We clearly see that uh, they were able to slow down our attacks. And with slower attacks, we don't stun as much. Without stunning, things kind of fall apart. So cold, scary. If we had a way to strip debuffs, that'd be pretty cool. The present, you gain additional random buffs. So nothing here strips debuffs. I'm not sure what strip debuff for a hunter. I see dagger though. I buy dagger though. <laughs> oh, you know, pretty silly. This is pretty silly. Um, the piggy here should be able to buff the hammer on the angle like that. Oh, no, what have I done? Oh, gosh, everything moved. <laughs> oh, no. Why did I say anything was wrong? Well, well, well. Okay, I know the hammer was like that. I know the piggy was... like that, I believe. Oh, what have I done? I believe you were here, and you were there, and you were there. Okay, we got all figured out. No worries, team. No worries at all. Good. Okay, um, so I'm going to move this to he here, I believe. What's the speed of my Hungry Blade? One seven versus three seconds. Because the Blade Dagger doesn't care what kind of Vampirism is touching, Hungry Blade is better there. And then Vampirism bonus there. At 1.7 seconds, we have a high crit chance as we get more luck. Yeah, luck generation will be huge also. Um, we haven't really found much in the way of lucky items in a long time. We get luck off of the flutes, and that's about all. Maybe grab the boots. I'll save them for now. Hello, pig. Hello, st so we actually have not had stamina trouble. Like, amazingly, we have not had stamina trouble at all in a very long time. So I was grab the boots, why not? And a health potion. Cause sure, why not? Yeah. Four run survive, three tries left. Just need to win. We're about to get poked to death by animals. So many buffs, so many buffs, so many buffs. So many buffs, so many buffs. All right, I just need one more win. Come on, one more win. I guess we just grab pocket sand from they're missing. Blueberry could help with speed of stamina and health. Garlic would not. Can't fit another one of these in. Have we gotten any speed bags this time? No, we don't have a single fanny pack this time. Just tons of stamina. Ever since I said I worry about stamina, we got so many stamina sacks. <laughs> time for a second hammer. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Um, if you have 20 debuffs, consume it and cleanse 10. Useful against the... Uh, Poison builds. <laughs> Banana. Sorry. Pineapple. More healing, more good. Boots go here. That is going to be that, isn't it? I could have sold the pocket sand there to get additional um, armor. We're both stunning back and forth here. Uh, they're stunning with the power of of gems. I'm stunning with the power of vampirism. We have so many debuffs. It does not matter. Oh, it might matter. It does not matter. <laughs> uh, so 
they are daggery like we are. Also, I like how well organized this bag is compared to my pile of nonsense. But yeah, the combination of poison gain to 59 plus the stuns. That's nice. Well organized though, looking very attractive. Uh, one try left, one try left, one try left. We get the vampirism and we get more armor. I believe that's going to be that. We have one open slot there. We have pockets down. We could get poison. It's not part of our build, though. Even more armor. So this is a chance of preventing critical hits. I guess I like that. That's it. I expect we're just going to lose here. Um, hopefully we get close number of points we would have gotten if we accepted the win. That's a lot of pets, so my stun does nothing against pets. They have one resurrection. And we are now stamining out. It's been a while, it's been a while, been a while. Ah, uh, here's the resurrection number one. Huh. Huh. How did we win that? <laughs> what, what even happened? So we were sort of just like hanging out at mid health for a long time. Yeah, I guess the big vampirism buildup really helped a lot. Yeah, because other than that, I mean, they got only 63 health via the Phoenix. So they had a lot of heat. They don't have a heat generator, do they? Before this upgrade, it was a heat generator. If heat generation via this sword, but they're also consuming on this weapon. Yeah, so surprisingly little amount of heat generation given the it just existence of the Phoenix here. They're consuming tons of heat off all the daggers. I think that many molten daggers is a, is a mistake. I believe. If you want that Phoenix, you want a very high amount of heat buildup. Okay, more bloody dagger. I don't think I have a way to get this blade dagger touching the others. This one in particular. Once I move this to here, that does not help us. Yeah. We have one open spot, possibly two if we chip things around. We already have cares of the bananas. Uh, we have enough money to get another blood amulet, or another crit item. Six plus nine is 14, plus two is 16. I can sell a pocket sand to make this work. You have additional crit bonuses on the hammer especially. I'm off by one, I can't count. Another pocket sand sold. And one more vampirism bonus. All right, must survive one round. Here is poison. Here is so much armor. Start with 250 armor. Luckily, they're not stamina neutral, so they're going to have stamina before we are. That said, still so much armor to dig through. Um, so because they have armor and we have big, big poison debuffs already, I think we lose this thing. We are consistently getting some healing going. Wait, really? We're at 102 poison. <laughs> How are we at 102 poison and we survived? How does vampirism work? Heals one health per stack when hitting with a melee weapon. So every single strike with any weapon, we got 23 healing. That was amazing. That was amazing! 106 poison! I thought it would just be the end of us, because every two seconds that ticks for 106. Her whole health bar is only a few seconds of taking that. And they have two of the scythes for even more poison damage? Wow. Wow. I need to believe in myself, because friends, we survived again. 25 points up to 60 in silver. 
and we can unlock 1.98 items. So 60 in silver, a 25, a 15, and a 39. That was pretty, pretty, pretty okay. All right, what to unlock then on somebody? Um, so we already got one item on our good friend, the Ranger. Who else does well? We have one item on our friend, the Barbarian. Let's unlock a Pyromancer, a bit of fun. So we can get better hair for her, uh, slightly brighter fireballs, a bit of a scam that. Skimpier sun armor. Get a little uh, different color of pouch there. Or some attractive fiery boots. The last battle was very close without lucky with stuns. It felt pretty lucky in some measure. Let's give the Enchantress more, more hair. Nice. And then tomorrow, if we get even two more trophies, two more wins, we'll then be able to unlock one more item. Ah, what a good time. What a good time, what a good time. Thanks for hanging out with me as I play this nonsense game that I'm enjoying so much. Um, back in the day, um, Cringer, a friend of the channel, we always talk about stream killer games. Games that the streamer enjoyed very much, but a large portion of the community did not care about it at all. <laughs> so, I think this might be a stream killer game. It's not a normal strategy game, but I'm having a great time. So, we'll definitely play this one throughout the rest of the week. Tomorrow, not a teaching day, so a big, long stream is coming. That'll be a delightful time. Friends, thank you for your fun and cooperation. Don't be surprised if by the time I come back tomorrow, there might, 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 might be a little bit of uh, higher ranks on people. And yeah, no promises. We'll see, we'll see. For now, though, thank you so much. Appreciate y'all. Goodbye, goodbye.